You know what? I'm going to do another intro. YouTube, uh, you didn't see the last um, 25 minutes. It doesn't exist. Don't worry about it. We're going to try some things and try to get that game working. You didn't worry. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, instead, <laughs> we're going to play some Genshin. So hopefully you enjoy, YouTube. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, all that fun stuff. Ring the bell just for funsies. Because honestly, ow. But anyways, uh, <laughs> that being said, enjoy some Genshin. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the other game, don't worry about it. I will make that thing work and we'll have a good time. Trust me. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, Genshin time. Did you play through Pocket Mirror? No. I was supposed to play the demo of it, but it never ended up happening. Um, the demo streams kind of stopped for a bit because I wanted to get some other things set up and they fell through. Um, and then some other demos like stopped being playable and it was unfortunate. But now we got a bunch more, so I'm going to be going back through all of those. Um, but no, I haven't, I haven't played Pocket Mirror. I think I have, there's, there's, uh, there's a couple of games. There's Pocket Mirror, Little Goody Two Shoes, and another one that Yuri played that are like, kind of like top down, like pixely type games and like have like horror elements. And, uh, all of those I'm supposed to be like, it's not Ib. No, that's fucking years ago. It was one that Yuri played. It was like, um, Fear and Longing or something. No, not Fear and Longing. Um, on my wish list. Open Steam. Go wrong. Um, you're in something. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> hey, thanks for the gift. <laughs> well, we own the game now. <laughs> we own Pocket Mirror, so we will be playing Pocket Mirror at some point. Uh, that was not the game I was talking about. <laughs> Hang on, where's my wish list? Uh, oh, it's on here somewhere. Evil Tonight. That's what it was called. Evil Tonight. And it's, uh, fucks. But Yuri played through that and it looked really, really good. So I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to give that a go. We still got to play that one. And those ones will probably be what we play. Um, but that'll be a lot of fun. And then there's a Souls like that's like 2D that I got to play as well, which came out and I just fucking didn't play, and I feel really bad about that. Oh well, won't worry about that. We won't worry about that because that is not do moment. So, we oh, there. Thanks again for the gift, Kira. <laughs> It, yeah, no, not fear and hunger. Fear and also fear and hunger. Eh, it's fine, whatever. I have a little bit of nudity. Same thing with the. Fuck. What's it called? Outlast. Don't look at it for too long and twitch it. As long as you're not like idolizing this. All right. Engine time. Log in. Oh, they have another event now. Fuck. <laughs> Do away time. It's a fight event. No, nah, it's fine. Here we go, chat. <laughs> Look, it's Charlotte and... Uh oh, hang on, hang on. I know her name. I. Ka Ching. Aha! <laughs> I like kind of putting the name. It's gonna help me pronounce. Got it. Ka Ching and Charlotte! I never thought she'd see you two together. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, autoplay. Nice please. to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. She always oh, have a call. We're not interrupting anything, are we? 
<laughs> Not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back oh, to Fontaine? Oh, it's a fly, baby. Well, yes. And... <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. I've made a terrible mistake and I... Uh, you're gonna bear with me, chat. We're gonna a lot of things. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get to that in a second. I want to explain that. I just want to show this off and not have this after that. <laughs> Hang on, I'll explain it in a sec. Uh, we're gonna. Okay, so some of you may know Luna. I I endeavored to try to get her affiliate, and it kind of worked out. <laughs> we got it. We got the numbers, so that was good. Um, she's very she's a very funny person. Still struggling with some PC issues, but that's okay. She said she's she's working on it. That's wired, still entertaining. Um, but she didn't want to do coding today. So instead she threw me. Look at it. <laughs> I could have my own sippy mode at this point. <laughs> it's perfect. It looks so cool. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be shouting this out on, on Twitter and stuff like that. It looks, it looks awesome. So I'll be putting that there and probably it'll be in like all caps and stuff. Well, it will be added to the wall. I will find a spot for it on the beer back screen. Um, but I do need one for hydrate. <laughs> so, but yes, that's Luna. You can see her, uh, her at right there. Right, right at the bottom on the mug there. That'll be awesome. was this was drawn very lovingly by so oh, really awesome thank you again luna so much uh but other than that let's get back into genshin i will be adding that and throwing that in all the places that it needs to. um but anyways back to genshin sorry want to do that oh the other thing so the game the forbidden game there was a game i played a bit ago <sighs> that involved a coffin and uh two people <laughs> and I thought I'd never play it again. Instead, uh, due to some funny memes and talking to Chud, uh, I was like, you know what? I <laughs> I make fun of the fact that Chud had the the bubble popping goal, and it like it hit it immediately, and it was funny. So, what I've decided is. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do the same thing in the same vein. I'm going to play a game that will make everybody uncomfortable. <laughs> so if you guys hit that, then we'll play the game. Um, and in a fun fashion, because Chud needs time to set up for this this bubble popping, you know, stream and such like that. Uh, I don't. The game's downloaded and ready to go. Uh, so whenever we hit it, we're just going to stop the current thing that we're doing and start that. So please hit it now. <laughs> please, please save me from Genshin. <laughs> you have how much? What the fuck? Why? Also, I couldn't figure out how to change the max points thing. I, I, I don't know how to change that. 
And I, I, I hate that I don't know how to change that. Because that would have been really funny for just one person to be like, fuck you. Like, and that would have been great. But I think that it's a witch side thing. Anyways. You've got a lot of points. I'm scared of that. Okay. Unaware of how long I've been streaming. Don't forget to change category. Yep. No, my category is all changed. Even my title is. I changed it all. It's <laughs> yeah, the contribution thing is kind of dumb. Uh, I wish I could switch that around and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But eh, here's what it is. Anyway, we're going to get back into Genshin. So, like I said, if at any point, whenever that gets hit, whatever we're doing is going to stop and we're going to play that. So. Oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go back to Genshin now. I think. Okay. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Let's Lantern go. Light should change in turn. The what Chishin if I paid you? It's, it's not going to change the thing. Our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own hmm. jade. So that means. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuan Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about. But all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Have for free, oh you Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high Big and mode? far a kite ah. can fly depends as much on the weather <clears throat> conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. Also, it's thank you for the follow, by the way. I don't. I make a kite didn't say that because I was looking at something. Think? <clears throat> thank you for the follow. Ready, set, roll. To enjoy, the more people will want to participate. You. You're in the... I have to select things? You can't just let me not listen to this? God damn it. Fuck. Sounds awesome. Right? I also thought it was a novel was idea. A really <laughs> Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. Somebody without a sub, get him! We didn't want it to be too much more expensive Them. than a traditional kite. Cool! <laughs> it turns out you two are playing Hang with on toys just as much as Paimon! Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. You see, There's someone without a Kenna in chat. Get them. Everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural <laughs> relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. It's me. <laughs> There's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O oh, kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Are we going to say the rest of it? Are we Are we going to say the rest of it? Send them love, send them word, send them homeward bound. Where's the rest of it, Kaching? The fuck? <laughs> okay, never mind. I, In the past, poets from <laughs> Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing. Small indie company. Or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kaching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kaching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> 
As long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. No. Oh. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. Mm. What about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun. Killed the brutal king. Mm, let me think. <laughs> oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious Simply not forms of pay traditional you, craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Let's go kite making. Also, no longer boogie. Oh god. Um, I like that the two current events going on in. Oh, Anna, you can, you can just do that. I don't know that you got to redeem it, but I mean, there goes there goes Leth. Leth, enjoy the shadow room. Um. <laughs> The two current events going on in Honkai Star Rail and this one are so different. And I really think, and this is a big thing that they need to change for Genshin because ah, it's not... <laughs> Do it yourself, coward. She was doing it. She just had to type it out. So like, for instance, in Genshin, it's very like, there is kind of unfortunate stuff happening right kind of sad stuff and stuff like that but it's all stuff that we don't really have any a part in that like nothing really bad happens in genshin like we haven't lost anybody right and then you look at honkai star rail and uh they they pull no punches on some characters and those characters are just gone and i'm like i think genshin needs to like step up a bit they like there's like no real like drawbacks. There's a good chance that if you look like a main character, you're probably get, like untouchable. Even if there's bad stuff happening, you're good. So I'm just like <laughs> I think Genshin needs to add in some like character death to like really solidify some like really sad moments. They just haven't. And I'm thinking that they might going forward, but they need to like get on that shit. As it stands now, Honkai wins that, wins that entirely. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites. Engine streamer liking stick, a different game more? That's free. super easy. <laughs> Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. I'm gonna jot all of this down. <laughs> Well, for example, that, that was the best the line delivery. Thank you, Charlotte. Symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Okay, here's the thing: they might kill off child, and child might be one of like the the biggest deaths in like Shneznai or something like that. I could see them doing that. He'll like try to like protect something and just end up pushing too hard or something like that. This is regardless of the fact that Kenna just wants him dead because Kenna sees too much of herself in him. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. Dying over here. Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could oh you. They could be a useful reference. There's two people on screen right now. Do you think they're important NPCs? This is why this is why Genshin failed RL in certain character design because we have moments like this where oh man, these NPCs could be kind of just like random NPCs. Kind of important but not you know, crazy. <sighs> About to disappoint so many people. I 
Why would you kill yourself instead? <sighs> Listen, we can't lie. If we go back into my streams, there, there, there's one point that it was just named Kenna. I mean, that's, there they are. That's <laughs> Uh, Kenna, Kenna is very, very Hu Tao coded. It's funny to say that Kenna is child because there's a lot of things that child does that is related to Kenna, but more Hu Tao than, than child. So. That would be a huge help. Great. Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. I hope it goes well. Perfect. We're going to take a look around. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Your home? What? I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs you dating is a kite flying on contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. Oh, the rules yeah. are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. So, we'll be there. Oh, Paimon was on board the moment you said secret prize. <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing your Greedy little emergency. You bet! See you then! Bye, Kaching and Charlotte. You guys, enjoy. Wait, Traveler? Take a peek to your right. No. Do you see those two people lurking over there? No, I don't. Also, no, Kira. If you redeem Songwolf, it's just a Songwolf. It doesn't go to work. If it, it's not going to change the, the meter, then it's not going to be... I'm not going to put it... Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm. They seem fishy. Okay, so what is stopping someone with wind powers entering this competition? Honor. Pretty much it, honestly. Great. So it wasn't just Paimon. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. I mean... Oh, Paimon's treasure hoarders. sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know. Foil their plans before they even begin. You go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, wait Paimon... What the fuck is Paimon gonna do? Gently float over and tap them. Oh, Paimon's actually around. Oh. <laughs> You've been surrounded. What will you do? Of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Somebody fan, like some fan redesigned these characters and they looked, they looked so much better. They looked so much better. And this just fucking hurts because then you see that design and you're like, oh, that looks cool. And then you see this design, you're like, uh. Whoa, where did this buddy daddy come from? You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Don't think we didn't notice Buddy. eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. Uh. One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Great, Mooncarver. Generic old man with green hair, number three. Got For the it. purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. What a dropped ball. God fucking damn, dude. What a fucking... God. Are you kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds, there's no way he'd humble himself down here with the rest of us. Uh, <clears throat> You may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. Actually, hang on. This is a perfect example. One second. Let me grab the image. I'll grab the image. I'll show you what the fan redesign looked like. Because I...
I gotta actually, like, find the image. It's somewhere. It wouldn't be that hard to find it. Might be harder to find than I thought. Oh, I know what I'll do. Yeah. We're finding this because I need to show y'all. Horrible. Wish the Raptors could drop the ball in the net. We can't. One can hope. Gifted with a lovely toasty voice. Oh my god, Chud, you do have a toasty voice. You know what? That's a good. That's a good point. All right, I found it. And and it actually looking at it again makes me even more upset. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is horrible. This is the <laughs> the worst. Okay. And I didn't close it. That's crazy. Oh, what does That's <laughs> Oh my god, chat. This the, the next emote's coming along. I can't wait to show y'all. <laughs> Hang on. I don't even know how that happened. How does one spell words? Up, up, up. There you are. All right. So here they are, right? See them both in front of you, right? They look like. This is what a fan redesigned them as. I'm upset. Look how fucking cool they look. You know what the best part is? Um, fucking, I think it's Mountain Shaper, right? Like, the one on the right is a deer. So he's supposed to look slightly different, right? The one on the left, with the red hair and stuff like that, is supposed to be a crane, a lot like Jin Yuan, uh, right? Jin Yuan, I think that's her name, the new, the new five star. So she, he kind of looks like her, like, like a, like a brother to her, essentially, in the same kind of design with like the long, like kind of hair and stuff like that. This design is so perfect. This is what they should have done. Instead, the small multi-billion dollar company known as MiHoYo decided to drop the ball several fucking times down an entire cliff and just was like, never mind, we can't make cool characters for our lantern, right? That'd be crazy. So instead, we get this. There's a laziness here. That shouldn't exist in a company of this size. And that is absolutely unfucking forgivable. They could have made really fucking cool designs and really awesome fucking characters. Even if they were just four stars, that should have been a thing. Even if you had no plans to release them as characters, this should have been a thing. They are vital fucking storytelling devices in your entire game. You should do better insane anyway sorry <laughs> i wanted to rant about that for a second because it was absolutely bullshit
Well, they do that for Star Rail because Star Rail has a good director. It's not their favorite child. It's just Star Rail has a better director. The one for Genshin is trying to throw it into a hole. They're just failing it. <laughs> Don't think that Paimon is going to believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess. You're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended <laughs> upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. They descended upon the mortal realm and they couldn't. Why do they look like mortals? Why do they look like simple dudes instead of, like, you know, adepti? Right? Okay. Anyway, sorry. Huh. Looks like you did your research. But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Malilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. I mean, perhaps you can prove it. Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. It'd be inconspicuous, so they turned into generic NPCs. During the last lantern rite, I guess. We gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? Indeed. Also, if they were going to be inconspicuous with any of their characters, why didn't they do that with fucking uh, Jinyuan? I think that's her name. I'm still probably fucking it up, to be completely honest. Like, I mean, I don't know. They just, they dropped the ball on this one and people are upset and rightfully so because it's on now. I get it. If it was like a random, like couple of people, like they were like people talking for like Moon Shaper and Mountain Carver, right? Like, or Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver. It makes sense that way, right? If they're like people that were like, you know, I'm, these are like representatives of these people. Fine. But they're not. They're them. They're adepti. They should be better. Fucking horrible. The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my so cool. use of the device Could have been so cool. on that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Like a free Since five then, star that you can just has make. In the pleasures of Decided the not to. Arts whenever time allowed. I was like, is any company? No, I refuse. Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain... Did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? <laughs> one yeah, is brother. simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They so might rude. think one bears no difference Asling Miko from on a Genshin day. Twitter account your days. <laughs> Forget it. One does not have the Honestly, to bring it. I don't even fucking... I, I fear no god. <laughs> bring it. I'll die on any hill that says fucking... Trying anything up coast. Because they are absolutely not trying. They put out some cool, like, story beats here and there, and they put out some cool characters, but, like... They let so much shit slide at the bare minimum that it's it's truly embarrassing. Ah, uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. Sometimes Paimon has really good line delivery, and I actually don't hate it. But uh, for beings as forgiving as yourself, you're up to zero after Miko gets them. Oh man, one could hope. Bridge. Great. To water out of the fridge. Well, Paimon, I didn't actually say anything. Take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. Few people will try to be will be able to see through it. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just... Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but... Why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? <laughs> like the, the, the kites really behind deal, his head look like ears. Hmm. Just waiting for Paimon <sighs> to digivolve. Actually, you know what would be really fucking cool? Is if Paimon becomes a playable character. Like, at like the end of the game or some shit. Like, I think a lot of people are, like, on the idea that, like, she's... Uh, in some, some fucking... It's like, I just like her to stay Paimon, honestly. 
Just make her a five star and have her do some cool shit. That's fine for me. Don't do any like weird twist shit that doesn't make any sense up to this point. But well, I don't know. get there. It is but an inevitable eventuality. I mean, just like, like I just, you know. I, you know? Anyway. Long have the mountains remained strangely <laughs> idle since cloud retainers moved to Liu at Harbor. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the nice festivities cat. in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful <laughs> sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid, cloud retainers in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh. So you're not looking for cloud retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure! Leave it to us! Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern right! Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. <laughs> <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? Okay. <laughs> we were in trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stall. Oh, fiddlesticks. This really ruffles my feathers. Please. Just, just say fuck. They, they so could have, and it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been, it, like, they had a time, they had a time frame, they could have gotten that shit done. Somebody did that fucking fan art and made models for them in two days. They knew Lantern Rite was coming up. They knew all this shit was happening. They chose to just do that. It's like, why? All right, what are we doing? Oh, right here. Uh, welcome. Are the two of you Start a puppet show time? ticket sell out immediately? Like I don't know about that. Designs? Sure. Ooh, a sister kill swallow and a butterfly and boom. Oh. Traveler. Uh, this jade chamber design is our newest. It's Bruh. been selling like crazy over the past two days. And it's pretty. Story says they want it to look normal. They're adepti. They're fucking. They're adepti. They're not mortals. They'll never look normal. Their version of normal is Xinyuan. Their version of normal is Cloud Retainer. <laughs> like no. If you want to use lore to like talk about whether what whether they wanted to like look normal or like passable or whatever the fuck, they still would have looked like their sister. Like no, no. You don't get to use that excuse. The lame excuse. Really flimsy. If I can pick it apart with like literally one thing, no. I don't have to. It sucks. It's terrible. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. 
The Jade Chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. It's like love and passion on the and work means something. I don't know. Yeah. To bring riches in the future to those who fly it. You want to you want to crash course in people who are like are working on a game that they have love and passion for? Look at Honkai Star Rail. That game has been out for what? A year now at this point, I think, right? Maybe less than a year. It's done better with their NPCs and their fucking like characters that don't mean anything than Genshin ever has. It's just like I don't think also Genshin's been out for three years. I don't think they've given us a single free five star. So I mean there's that. <laughs> also, during this time, I think they won mobile game of the year twice. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite <sighs> materials. Wonderful. I'll pack them up. Did you say remember alloy? To Yi Long War for you. They remember alloy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't, in fact. Fuck you. We got a four-star masked as a five-star. Hooray. The only reason she's a five-star is because she was a fucking uh, crossover character. That means nothing. <laughs> anyway, I will say that in this current era of mobile games, they are doing better. And especially if you compare mobile games to like Honkai and shit like that, it's harder to say it's just a mobile game. It sucks because Honkai Star Rail is a mobile game. I think and it's it's came off as like a mobile game and then like a PC port of the mobile game so on and so forth. So it's just like, man. Also, yeah, a Aloy only works on PlayStation along with weapon, which means if you don't if you don't play on PlayStation, uh, you can't play her, which I feel like is a PlayStation thing. This is the best part. Yes. Honkai Star Rail, uh, Honkai Third Impact, Zenless Zone Zero, fucking all of them, and this are all from MiHoYo. However, the director for each one of those games is varied and different, and the current director in charge of Genshin is uh, hates gaming. I, I, that must be it. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. But the director behind Honkai Star Rail actually wants the game to succeed, and the one behind Genshin just seems to want it to fail. I don't get why. Yuan Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Rite. Paimon would love to go take a look. So one last thing while I'm ranting about this. Um, the, ho the, the current Genshin director was on Honkai Third Strike um, when it was failing really badly. Um, was taken off of that for Genshin. And then the guy who is currently making, the guy who's currently making um, Honkai Star Rail do amazing, uh, completely fixed and turned around the reputation that Honkai Third Strike had near the end of its uh, time frame. So just saying, the guy's really good at what he does, and instead we have the guy who almost killed the game. In game. So yeah, Genshin's future looks real bright. <laughs> If the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Gaming, yes. Gaming. The communications office handles <laughs> shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. Ah, uh, well. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. 
Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Wait. Let me buy a kite. Do I've heard her mention oh, Gaming before. Apparently, he's a nice, outgoing fellow and all around good guy. He is. Is there time to sneak in some dim sum first? Anyway. I'm getting Genshin will share a company, but not directors. Genshin's current director. Yeah. Oh, I'm still wondering why they didn't separate Ga Ming's name. I don't know. Tracing with a hydrate posture can stretch as you I almost spilled water all over my desk. I love the whole thing where Honkai killed a character and everyone was like, they're not really dead, right? Yeah, exactly. That's a four stars idol pose, by the way. Anyway. See, this is what I mean. Sometimes they do good. Sometimes they do good. Sometimes they're like... There he is! Can't be in two places at once. There's still so... Wait, I thought we had an agreement. Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation, and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not uh -oh. trying to be a sore loser. I just Alert. didn't expect you to come from behind to win like that. Uh, sound alerts? Uh, sound alerts? Buddy? I don't know. None. Were you at sound alerts? What's going on? Uh oh. It's Uh oh. Analytes. <laughs> what happened? I didn't change anything with sound alerts. Why are they broken? Didn't break the sound alerts. Hang on. Not my fault. <laughs> uh. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> Am I just like not supposed to stream today? Is that? <laughs> Is that what it was? Was I just supposed to, like, not? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Time to, time to look at things. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> it's Krillin. Uh...
Got your nose. Well, I don't really know what to do. That's not good. Hold on! Hold on! Ah. Hold on! This is Your me. Family. Hold on! Her sister was a witch! Found it. Right? And what was her sister? <laughs> a princess! The Wicked Witch of the East, bro! <laughs> I'm gonna stab him. You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? Am I wrong? My favorite she movie. wore a crown and she came down in a bubble. Bubble dog. I'm fighting with you. Grow oh, up. Wow. Grow, with you. Grow up. Get educated. Um, so. Either they're really late or they're working now. So somebody else try one. But I guess there's no reasoning with madness. They're just or really cats, late. For that matter. Seriously, try talking sense into a cat. They just stare at you with their lifeless, patronizing eyeballs for like a couple of seconds, and then they just walk away. And then you're like, don't turn your back on me. And they're like, nah. And then you're all like, and then they're all like, nah. But it is what it is. I, I guess. guess. Well, personally, I don't think much of, much anything. of anything. Aside, Aside from, from use a, a bitch. bitch. <laughs> Well, personally, hey. <laughs> I don't think much of anything, aside from use a bitch. Oh, fiddlesticks. This really ruffles my feathers. Please, Please. Just, just say hey. fuck. Oh. All right, so now the left one should play, right? Right? You know what? In 10 minutes, we'll get that. That was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Perfect. Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Lord. Oh, that must have been Longjaw. Eeny teeny like peeny got shrimp. You gotta go. Sure. Eeny, go do your thing. A teeny uh, let's peeny Let's have a rematch shrimp. when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Eh, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Also, it's the traveler and she is kind of. I see, I see. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longjo if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately, running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? I like the voice actor. I think the voice actor really fits him. I, I think it's really well done. No thanks, Nance. So, you here for Lantern Rite? No, actually, just passing through. Lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Whoa. Oh, nice. And there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise, you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Uh-oh. Paimon! Paimon, come back! Paimon! Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? Right, because you missed it entirely. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. And the male protag cat, they don't want me. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? <coughs> I can wait. Nope, I think wait. we're always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. He's the pro he voices the protagonist in Honkai? Really?
Read that they would. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If you run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. To be fair, I'll never hear him because I picked the female protagonist in well, every game that I can, but also because she's better. Also, they did a height comparison between Lumin and uh, the female protagonist in Honkai, which I think is Del or Ella or something. Um, the Honkai Star Rail protagonist is like a tall female, whereas Lumin's only like a like a middle kind of one. So she's fully taller, and I'm like, so much better. It's it's just better. And she's got like the gray hair, and she loves trash. She's got the cool trench coat. Ah, she's cool. As there is the running joke that, um, that it's just basically Lumin with a wig or whatever. Somebody, somebody did that one, and I thought that was really fun. Her name is pronounced Steel. That's great for them. I'm not pronouncing it. That's, her name is spelled S T E L L E. That's Stella, or Stell at best, not Steel. <laughs> I may have dyslexia, but I ain't that fucking fool. Yeah, they're basically just both paint or uh, raccoons. My trash pants. How cute this artwork is. Good artwork. Go steal. I choose you. <laughs> All right. Off we go. Where the fuck was it telling me to go? <laughs> yeah, Genshin? You want me to go this way? Here? Really? Okay. I, I won't, but thanks. <laughs> oh, right. Never mind. We're in the we're in the side quest eras. My guests, welcome, welcome, and allow me, uh, that name, Renshin, sure, to be the first to wish you two the a joyous lantern rite. Happy lantern rite, Miss Renshin. You seem to be re uh, reciting something you're talking to yourself about. Considering the delectable, or perhaps a revolutionary, ra far off the mark, nearly a hole in one. I was just uh, thinking about the food boba and we are gonna make. Isn't that the little rabbit thing? Must teleport through the railing. God. <laughs> now those are names we know. You know, Quoba and. Do we too? Could I not? Looking at one of the Wamin's restaurants regulars. As long as I'm not on the road, I eat at least seven meals a week at Wamin restaurant. Oh my god. Isn't that expensive? Compared to my hometown style of cooking. First some lightly seasoned fare and then a spicy flavor bomb. It's just a smash hit. If I end up with too many heat I end up with too much heatiness. Just need to down some of the right meds and flush it right out. And then after a couple People of days, say that, oh, you want me to do so bad, you want me to do so bad. No, I would much rather fit in and be liked. But there's something wrong, wrong with me, psychologically. She's rich. I mean, I don't know that one min restaurant is that. I don't know that we need assault the. Also, John with the Hydra Pasha can stretch. I should do all three things. No. Oh, amazing. Paimon also wants to try living like that. Of course. You do. Anyway, I get to see Guoba and Zhang Ling uh, pretty much every week. And sometimes even little Yao Yao. When Yao Yao brings Yugui and along and see Zhang Ling, Guoba and Yugui... Good lord! 
end up playing together. Those are so hard to say in a row. <laughs> ah, it's wonderful. No matter how exhaustive work is, just watching them shake and sway is enough to sweep all your carries away. I can't be the only one being cured by Guoba and, and we. I want to. I want everyone to bear witness to their cuteness for themselves. Well said. Now this is something important, but how do you plan to do it? Only five more people need to contribute for us to immediately switch games. Come on, people, we can do this. No. If we couldn't do it now, <laughs> that would actually be unfortunate because if I do it now, I'm not coming back to Genshin. I'm playing this offline. <laughs> I'm not going to turn Genshin back on after today. Oh, hey, dog. How you doing? Bingo! I just made a paper theater featuring Guoba and Yugoi as stars. Everything you see here is a, is a stall, is a prop for the paper, paper theater. Paper theater. That name sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Is it about the canvas behind you and washing the shadows on it? You guys have heard of paper plays, a traditional Liyue art form. But artfully using the pictures and lights, you can make the scenes on the screen come... How do we make you change game? You donate. And we hit the we hit the goal. Which I'm now realizing is maybe too low. I loved paper plays since I was a kid and learned a bit about them from Master Yangong. After I grew up, I became a painter studying and traveling all. While I was in Fontaine, he was in Fontaine, it's a better place. Right. I learned a few new drawing techniques, a thing or two about filming. I had quite a few sparks of inspiration, too. So using paper plays as a basis, I tried creating a novel interactive game. And thus, the paper theater you see before you was born. Paper theater and paper plays also have a different styles. Paper theater focuses on simple and short stories that bring a smile to the audience. So that's why this year's first paper theater will be all about an especially ami amiable story. Woba and, Woba and Yugui looking for ingredients to cook up something delicious together. Stop saying their names. Just be like, they cook together? That's great. Woba and Yugui cooking together. That sounds really interesting. Hey, fun and food in one place. At 18k. Yeah, you can only contribute up to two. Like, you two are totally on board. Your excitement is inspiring. Then there's no time to lose. Please, just relax. And get ready to enjoy this paper theater performance. Let's go. I, I I was about to say it's a mini game, so I'm not gonna actually be able to sit down and watch it. Use the left stick to consume movement points and guide. Oh no! Did you put a mobile game in your mobile game? How dare you? Guide Guoba and Yugui. Uh, push the stick continuously to move. Continue. Oh, okay. The challenge will be deemed a success once all characters have. Okay. Each move of the starting point, cart, or boxes within the stage will be recorded. Use the call function. Age the layout to its pre It can be used three times continue. <sighs> Welcome, customer. Ready to enjoy another paper? I haven't enjoyed the first one. You mean another? This one hurt my brain. Only 5% of people can beat this game. <laughs> it's like it's like one of those ads where they're like doing it really poorly just to like piss you off and make you download it and finish it for them. Like Woo! Please enjoy. Right. Just told me this. So. Guessing you can't walk through the thing. When Guoba or Yugui leave the starting point cart, their areas of the pass through will be marked. The marked areas will be deemed accessible. Returning along the marked path. Press the keys to release the corresponding lock. If they cannot reach the key, pushing boxes are... Leave me alone! <laughs> ah! Akira! Ah! Akira! Mom versus dad. It's... <laughs> this game made my wife leave me because I failed. I had such a tiny tower, but now...
Uh. I don't... I don't think that's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> don't make extra accounts for that. <laughs> Definitely not Kira. Use the controller buttons to switch between characters you are controlling in the stages where Yugi and Guoba are both present. You must guide them both to the convenience position. Challenge should be deemed. Uh. Me up that they can't cross paths. Kind of annoying, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> um, we really need the green key? Like, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sure it's fine. Hey, we did. Next stage. Boba and Yugui are at the starting point. Art. The car can be pushed by another character. Reach some special location. Up, up. 
Here's where they lost me. Fair. Oh yeah, okay. It's like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> that should be it. Hey, we're good. Next stage. Uh, okay. Well, personally, I don't think much of anything aside from use a bitch. Ba -da -da -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wah. Hey, we're done. We did them all. It's still not the thing I hovered over, you fucking bitch. Fuck. I did it, I'm level seven. Here. Look how much things I'm getting. That was easy. Oh. Oh, is this the online one that you were talking about? pick one of the characters to join. What if you have them all? Twelve hundred, eh? Okay. Is well, let's see if anybody's still playing it. Um... I guess if I was to invite anybody... Uh... Probably Gomping, right? Do I have Yao Yao, actually? Hang on. I have Yao Yao, okay. Yao Yao Chung. Uh, 
Got Beto. Beto, the beta version of a good character called Raiden. <laughs> this fever is quite festive. Very much so. And then, obviously, Ningguang. Uh, all right. Not all the characters. I'll just... That's fine, Kenna, but in my account... Such is life. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I used to play Beto as well, but then I got Raiden out again. <laughs> Oh, happy right, dudettes. <laughs> Allowed to speak? You wouldn't happen to be at Big Shots who came look. Or oh, you were hanging out with Gaming, right? Totally. Hot diggity, you remember me. My luck's on fire. Speaks like And why? I like using Beto with Hu Tao. In every conceivable option, I shouldn't pair Farina and Raiden. Shouldn't, apparently. Supposed to be paired. But I do it anyways because they're my favorite characters. Of course I'm going to. I heard you two are like the best of the best. And there ain't nothing you can't do. I pop on over to Chihu uh, Chi Rock to buy groceries every day. And even though it's so close by, I still always hear people singing your praises along the way. Paimon's the best at eating. Ain't nothing she can't swallow. <laughs> No chat. <laughs> I want to think for a moment. What else is she good at? <laughs> I've got it. Can ordinary people float? You're so white and light and fluffy like a pigeon adeptus. A pigeon adeptus. Flying alone is amazing. I mean it. It should be super easy to carry stuff. It makes it work a cinch. You should help your friend more. <gasps> You're a pigeon adeptus, Paimon? <laughs> Let's just ignore whether it's even possible for a pigeon to turn into for now. Mama just wants to point out that she's always been helping. <laughs> for example, if Miko falls from a really high place, Paimon will grab onto her and make sure that she falls isn't too painful. Even though Paimon's not strong enough to actually do much lifting, if Paimon was really a pigeon adeptus, she'd give Miko a boost when she's using the wing glider to help her fly farther and higher and farther. Yeah, why don't you do that? You two gotta practice more. Just like when I practiced the wushu with Gaming. The more you practice, the better you'll work together. Or it ain't, it ain't easy to build. It just so happens I've created a fresh new game. Hot off the press. It's called just wushu dance. You just add one word and just it just dance. How dare you? Wanna have a go? Not not only can you work on your teamwork, you can learn all about the wushu. Just wushu dance? You wouldn't happen to be talking about that big old doll. Bingo. Authentic wushu dance is downright devilish to learn. Even if you got a pro showing you the ropes, you won't be able to stick it. Just stick with it unless you love it. I've got the perseverance to match. I'm on Gladiator when? Exactly, Mihoyo. When? Actually... Where is our, like, cool Paimon Glider, like, cape thing? That'd be cool. That's a cool skin I'd buy. So I just changed the rules for one style of Wushu dance. Got some props, and boom, the game was born. And it's also lantern right. Yeah, perfect for helping everyone enjoy themselves and work up an appetite, or work off those... Put on your dancing shoe, well, the dancing outfit, and see who can grab the most tea bricks. You can dance and bump all over the shop. It's a hoot and a half. Sounds fun. It sure sounds fun, but Paimon doesn't think she's strong enough to wear such a big outfit and play with people. But Miko's really good at games like this. Paimon will watch and learn from the sidelines for it. Terrific. Those tea cakes will be a piece of cake. Uh, 
Huh? Pigeon Adeptus. Not personally participate. It's not a problem. You can probably been traveling together for a long time to come. We'll have plenty of chances to level up our teamwork. Also, who did say Paimon will learn a bunch by wor uh, about working with Miko just from watching? Aha, you two are so close. I'm starting to get a bit jelly. Then please, right this way. Let the dude of legendary <laughs> D step right up and just wushu dance. Back and enjoy. It's time to do the thing. Anyways, it's basically bumper grabbing points. All right, let's do it. Yes, I will have dance. Rock on and have fun. Oh, what are the rewards? Obtain a bunch of score and in a bunch. Of okay. And good things and good things come rolling in, Stade. Collect as many lucky T bricks as possible with a time limit to score points. I'm in small and large forms, and the latter are worth more. Use your bumper wushu and knock other participants away. You can also obtain any lucky T bricks dropped by. Under Did somebody? Okay. Hey, we got one. Let's go. <laughs> you have to play every stage once for points. I know. I got. I understand how it works, Kenneth. Like every other multiplayer. Play all of the stages and then just farm the one you like the best. Canadian <laughs> server diff. Oh, we, did you not get that many in a row? <laughs> Dude, I don't know who the fuck was canceling their shit, but like, fuck you. Nobody rejects. I'm sure people don't like. I should be playing a Leoa character. What am I doing? <laughs> that, that was mean. I shouldn't have done that. That was... <laughs> <laughs> He's almost at 69. Never mind. How dare you? Ah, what? You laggy bitch. <laughs> Damn it, I almost hit him again. <laughs> In the 18 directions, you're just like, okay, we go. Nice. 1,000. Got it. Okay. That's easy. Win or lose, you can get about a thousand just fucking popular around. Can be such a hassle. That's not that bad. We have to do that like five times, right? Uh, you. Right. Thousand. Oh, six. Yeah, not that bad. All right, next next time we're gonna play a Leo in Leo A. We should. Let's go. 
When you race to the top stage, the more value you possess, the higher your score when the challenge. Use the following methods again. Valor gaining and you know, holding on to more fortune to break stay. A fortune T-brick will appear on the field at intervals. The first player to pick it up will hold it for a time during which they will gain valor continuously. If the holder is sent flying by another person, okay. Okay. Yeah. Time to play a leeway character. This one seems nicer. Let's... <gasps> Gotta play Leoa characters, guys. Two Inazuma characters and a Sumeru character. Not at all. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Nobody hitting... You gotta hit list. Where did it go? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bitch. It ran out just as he got there. You're fucking right back. Well, I don't think I can catch up, but I'm going to beat in person. Let's go. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Nobody attacked Liss, like, at all. I got 1150 for that. Okay. That one's way easier to get at stuff. Right again. Not a bad event for points. No, I mean, all of them are not bad. Like, they're a pain in the ass because you have to do it like pee. But, like, in the to pluck good fortune stage, participants start with mildness. The challenge starts, participants will be affected by super spicy spirit and continually lose mildness. The challenge ends, the more mildness you still have, the higher your score will be. Safe zones appear on the field at intervals into them to avoid the effects of the super spicy spirit. Prosperous T-Bricks will, e will appear on the field at intervals. Click. Gain a certain amount of mile. Super spicy walk hell, or walk hay, will explode across the challenge area at intervals. will receive a warning before the super spicy walk hay appears. If you are unable to get into the safe zone and avoid spicy walk hay, shockwave before it hits, you will lose a lot of mildness. Successfully avoiding it will, on the other hand, restore a large amount of oh. B. 
Yeah, no, it's not a... It's by no means a challenging event. Any of the online, like, events and stuff like that. I think the worst one is still, like, the hide-and-seek one. Oh, I readied up. Too bad! We're playing this character! I forgot to change. I, I thought triangle would be the, you know... Which character button? It's not. Um, but I think hide-and-seek is probably the one that I hate the most in terms of, like, getting points. It's because it's a pain in the ass. Also, I wish it was just a normal event you could play with your friends. I'm on fire. Ow, why? Ow, why? How dare you? Pom pom. feel like you don't have to do let's go fuck <laughs> nerd Fuck you, I was still in it! <laughs> Stop that! Fuck you! Fuck you, no! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no, they were they were mad. They were mad at each other. I was just I was chilling, it's fine. Oh, you only get 1300 for winning. Yeah, I do think the second one's a lot easier just to fucks with. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely play the second one. It's like chilling in the zones and shit like that. Wait. All right, how much more do we need, though? Uh, 35. We need 500? And like a couple more times? That's not... Okay. I just gave up there for his. Oh, whoops. I prefer the first one. I think this one gives more points. So I like this one. Um. We have a Leoway team! Let's go! Don't change! Don't change! Okay, you change to another Leoway character. I'll accept. We have two Adeptus, a god, and Garming. You wouldn't hit the best mother in Genshin, would you? <laughs> Ow! Why? <laughs> we can just all get along, okay? Look, don't gotta hit each other. We can...
Wow. Use a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. No. <laughs> Go away from me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just really trying to hold on to that. Uh, what? Uh, derivative. Go away, you sweaty bitch. <laughs> God damn, dude. Buggy Fresh plays this shit professionally. <laughs> Why are you and the gaming in solidarity? Because I just... 1250, it's like not... Also because, why the fuck am I gonna fight people? It doesn't matter. <laughs> he is meta slave. Getting first in these literally doesn't matter. Like at all. There's like no reason. <laughs> Sora. Same, is it? No, right? <laughs> surely, surely it's not her. Right? No, okay, it's not. And that's also not what I meant. Well, Lumen's doing something. <laughs> Gonna be off on the side, actually. Well, now I gotta hit you. I apologize. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Why didn't you go? Sora, you're a fucking dumb bitch, you know that? <laughs> like, instead of going for the... I just go for the big platform. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> I think I might be able to win if I stay out of it. Can't catch me, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you for trying, though. <laughs> oh, God. I, is that all I need? I think that's 14. I think we're good. I think we got a... Lumine got a whole five points. Well, Lumine was also AFK the entire time. Um... I think that five points leads to a grand total of like 50. So I think she got literally nothing for playing that. Unfortunate, but. But all of it? 
That's all of it, baby. We're done. All right. It's the wrong button because I'm a fool. Next. Uh, I haven't done the thing. Okay. Claim your rewards. <gasps> In the outfit. The hero's valor ripples through his robes. Let's go. His garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a much better outfit for It just is. All right. I only need to get another 300. Who is that? Jincho? It's this. 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 I was, there's so many words that popped into my, this boy. <laughs> Jing Cho. Jing Cho. It's the water boy. Who's got like a mini Farina outfit now. <laughs> it's the sparkling twink. The hero's valor ripples through his robes. His garments steeped in the spirit. Oh yeah, he like changed his hair slightly. Had like a little like tie. But like massively changed. It's the I think I don't like the arm. I've never liked the like like the wrist area. So I like this a lot. I think he looks. Okay. Uh, now I, I'm in a problem. I'm in a conundrum chat. I need to figure out which character to grab. I have them all. I'm pretty sure Beto and Ningguang are maxed. Jin Yan's maxed. I don't use any of these four stuff. I... Chat, you pick. Who do you want? Well, I will I deal with this thing. Who do you want? And all the things. Beta or the bottom left one? Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> uh, Ningguang is fully maxed. So if I get her, I think I'll be getting five Stellar Jade. And same thing with Beta. Oh, wait, you were answering Jesus. <laughs> uh, obviously, yeah, it's either Beto. It's Beto. Because Kenna likes Beto. Big Jin Yan? Okay. Let's see what my Jin Yan's at. Is my Jin Yan maxed or not? Level you up? Nian's maxed. <laughs> I think she's maxed. Where's Beto? Oh, maxed. Maxed. Uh. Maxed. 
Yao Yao is not. Cho's maxed. <laughs> Yu Jin's not maxed. And obviously Gaming and Yanfei. So the options here are Yanfei, Gaming, Yun Jin, and Yao Yao. So basically, chat. <laughs> My options are him, her, her, and her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yan baby. I like Jin Yan. I still like her accent, even though everybody finds it like astounding and telling how a, a character in a way would have that southern of an accent but i love it so much before yanfei but i'll never use yanfei because Yanfei is uh, Grem's favorite character, I'll never use her. Also, I can't use Jin Yan because, again, her constellations are maxed. I'd just be getting Sailor Jade. Oh, Chong Yun. Hang on. I don't think Chong Yun's maxed. Yun maxed. The only boy. No, he's maxed. <laughs> So, these two? Oh. Yun Jin, Yao Yao are coming. Who is it maxed? These ones. Yun Jin, Yan Fei, Yao Yao, and Gaming. Ken is saying Yun Jin. Leth saying Yun Jin. I like her. Her opera performance the uh, last year? It was last year, right? Really good. Also, I like that they show up with like a four-star weapon too. God, I think they give Jing Cho a fucking three-star. It is. Yujin! Let's go. Alright, now we do. attacking yeah. oh the docks are just a bit further one step at a time hang in there what <laughs> wait Another you get test. behind me I'll handle this <laughs> Get behind me on this. Hang on, I got We just Illusion shattered. Alright, I believe in you. representation of this character. Oh, seems way too strong. <sighs> seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? No, we can't. Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. 
Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. What? Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? Kicking ass was a. Oh. <laughs> I heard it somewhere. Really? Wushu dancing is famous in Chunyu Vale. His pick rate is fifty percent. I hate meta. I hate the meta. I hate pick rate. I hate the stupid bullshit. Whatever the fuck you want. Why the fuck? Why? Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware Oh, you mean his like crit rate or whatever the fuck? Aren't okay. exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wu Show dancing. Not his fucking so pick rate and the fucking not something I do other thing. Time. You're good. No. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. You ever get, like, the most, like, what-the-fuck texts from people? Because, like, I just did, and I still don't know what it means. I'm looking at it just going, I don't... What? <laughs> anyway, I'm sure that'll get explained later. Oh, we're in the veil! Oh, hang on. Grab it now, I'll never grab it. All right, one spirit carp, only 17,000 more to go. Walks forward and exchanges a few words with the boatman near the docks. Next thing you know, he's called everyone to board the, board the bump. Oh God, is it another boat hey, scene? We can rest. Oh. oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach's Concerned, so the last boat scene didn't work out so well. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon out? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied, and now her poor stomach's empty again. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? <laughs> I have some on me that I bought from you a store. You have some what? Yes, Pine will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Pine never gets too full. Just like, oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Pine And for you, traveler. Enjoy. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Oh. Real people person. He can get along with anyone. He treats everyone, every person he meets like a close friend. Oh, that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Ah, <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places. Whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road, or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. It's okay, Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she wants! Really? Only when you're ha usually 
when you're full. Pull yourself into the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Before you know it, you're in the place. I guess. They like to skip those real fucking fast, huh? Don't forget your things, and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft, or you're in for a swim. Who jump-scared you with a decoding message? Well, it makes sense now. I had to do Thanks some digging. Ride, it makes sense now, though. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Hey, Diablo 4 is coming to Game Pass. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wait, do I do I really need to hang on? Do I no. not just do the fish thing? The cool fish ability. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. It almost worked. Damn it. I will cheese this. I don't... Not be real with his shit right now. I don't want another pyro hoe for me. Like, this is me. <laughs> I mean, Anna. <laughs> I hate to break this to you. Have you looked at Gaming and experienced him? It makes sense. Alright, I made it up without using the elevator. Fuck you. I grab that. <laughs> Ha. Slowly off the log. There we go. Ah, Ming is a god. <laughs> like spirit carp. More spirit carp. You gotta love how many there are. Grab them. For that reward. I think it's... Get the cool, um... Get a glider from it. Oh, by the way, this is all of the things for, um... I'm legit forgetting her name, so I'm gonna go into the... I'm so sorry. Navia. I remembered it before selecting her. Let's go. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I marked it all on the map. Basically, you just swim around grabbing pearl. And this is the only place that they're at. <laughs> it's super easy. It's probably one of the easiest, other than like. Yes. Hey! I slow down. I'm begging you. Please slow is down. It? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Navia have her spotted. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, the way this party is supposed to work, I'm actually supposed to get rid of and put in. I'll and the, the reason today. for that is uh, her constellation, or like her abilities and shit like that, none of it benefits from um, having Nahida or like um, a Dendro character. However, uh, Dea, Raiden, and fucking Farina are literally increasing her, her attacks. So she gets stronger just by being a part of this. Team. Which is great. I just need to replace Dea with... Father. Although, in all honesty... For you for ages. Uh, in all honesty, I'm really looking forward to the next area, Natlin, plan, because I want the uh, the fire archon, because apparently she's supposed to be pretty dope. When's father? Father's supposed to be the next banner? No. I 
think she's the next banner. I think she's coming out soon, right? Be the next, like... I just don't know when. I think there's supposed to be a banner after this, and then she's after that banner, I think. So, when's this banner end? Four days. Oh, in four days, I think it's oh, the next, well, like, five-star banner, and then it's... How should I put it? However you want. Out. How should you put it? Do you see that group of people over there? No. Those are my relatives. Wow. You sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> He family. doesn't like his They're family. Mood. <laughs> Unless. Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. So, off topic, how bad would it be to get into the game solely to pull her and never touch it again? It'd be perfectly fine. That's absolutely worth it. To be fair, um, that's kind of how I got back into it. Um, because I was kind of, like, really distant from Genshin. It was downloaded, but it was basically just downloaded to help, uh, Grem farm and stuff whenever she wanted to. Um, but, uh, with, when Farina launched, uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna actually play this game. So, because my wife showed up, <clears throat> my wife, um, I kept playing, so... Uh, it, it depends on the character. I guess the character might keep you around, but it's not a bad thing at all just to jump on, get a character, and then... Like getting skins in any other game that you don't play. Same idea. Really, honestly, it's... <laughs> not only is it not bad, tons of people do it. So there's that. Our wife? How dare you? I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. True. Best if we could steer clear of them. Noted. Wait. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right now we've got a job. Is this a stealth mission? Mm, the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, slow and steady. Let's go. Stick close, traveler. Uh-oh, we've been spotted! <laughs> it's Gaming! With the cry of Gaming's name, his relatives, we can discern you from all Gaming! When did you get here? Oh, you've lost even more weight. How long are you planning on staying this time? Ah, if it isn't the consequences of my actions. <laughs> How's work been? It sounds tough. You should visit home more often. The last time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems worried. Causing trouble again, are you? Is that Alejandro? Uh, <laughs> well... After much talking, you finally extricate yourselves from the circle of Gaming's relative. <laughs> oh... There was probably a thing we could have done where we didn't get caught, but... <laughs> eh, that was terrifying! Even Paimon couldn't get a word in! Uh, sorry. They mean well, it's just... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Let's get these things delivered first. It's okay. Whenever you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Yeah, I never talk about anything. I... Hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. I'm so pink. So I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No, Let's go. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. 
Anyway, that's, you just sit down and relax. I'm not I'll looking for off. another addiction. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, oh my god, he's a workaholic. Picky, right, traveler? Calm down. I know, sit down. First things it's on okay the to take side, a break. So I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Aw, you noticed what Paimon likes? Uh oh. The golden child. Nobody economy. wants him. Oh, no, How long? <laughs> Ten minutes. We just along on his trip to Yulong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. If you tell me a story about how Gaming doesn't like take care of himself at all and only takes care of others, it's gonna hit a little too close to home. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Doctor Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but well, ask anyone else. And... Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Good. He's got oh, father issues. Uh, by the way, here, have some tea. The refreshing aroma and lingering aftertaste. All right, then. Vitalizes your spirit. if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. <sighs> Golden Retriever Boy with Daddy Issues. Go ahead. I'll wait. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. <laughs> Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paima never says no to free food. See you at the kiosk, then. All right, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. <laughs> Paimon, anyway, please. Anyway, is Gaming's family situation really that complicated? Oh, no. Don't ask. No, no, that's... He has such eh. a happy-go-lucky <laughs> personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. It's hard to imagine it, isn't it, Chad? <laughs> hmm. How should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Oh, I swear to God. Well, I mean, well... <laughs> Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'm on should be shamed for seven hours in the next event. They should throw it. They should, but not for this event. Just for everything in Fontaine. If you have the time, maybe Every time she opens her mouth to talk to Farid... Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. But if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Dunk her in a bucket every time she's... Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No, thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We've been here, actually, funnily enough, Paimon, we were here already. In fact, we were here for like 12 hours already. We're good, actually. I never want to be in this place again. Also, <laughs> for antics in Fontaine and Samara. Well, it wasn't too bad in Samara. It was pretty bad in Fontaine, though. <laughs> He's, she's not the brightest, honestly. And even getting the look from, like, getting the look from the Traveler was really good. Also, hi, Luna. How you doing? The Alerkin. 
Thanks again for the uh, for the amazing art. After I'm done stream, I'm gonna put you on blast on Twitter. You have a Twitter. You know what? Regardless, you're you're gonna be up in lights. I'll figure out a way. I'll put your name in the sky. Cause look look how good it looks. Hang on. Put it back up. Gotta find it. Put it. Lost it. Oh. Found it. Like, bam! Look how cool that looks. Eco sip. Let's go. Chances are, if you got to follow, is probably from Chud. Yeah. <laughs> Followed you and tweeted you a while back, but you didn't see it. I'm a monster. I'm the worst. I'm the terrible. Fixing that right now. One second. <laughs> oh, hell. Is your <laughs> Tell me your Twitter account's the same as your... Oh, no. Hang on. Oh, you did! I'm a monster! What did you now? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I'm the worst person. I don't don't follow me. <laughs> it's at all. Don't follow me. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Oh, uh, when did this notification happen? <laughs> oh, stream's over. I'm going by. It's I'm terrible. Alright, talk to y'all later. <laughs>
so sorry. Hey, you know, plus side, you're laughing and not crying, so we're we're good now. <laughs> Everything works out. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Was what was? But aside from me being a fool, Wait, what did you tweet at me also? My god. What if it's a laugh cry? If it's a laugh cry, I'm dead already. It's it's over. In game. I'm <laughs> It's all over. Oh no. Far back with that. Oh god. We're taking a break, chat. We're just find something. I really worst. <laughs> A little birdie told me that you're into torture. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'm, I'm insufferable to be around. around. Very true. Very true. Oh, but you being Canadian, I was like, I love Canadians. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Best part is, uh, Luna, <laughs> if you, if you can't tell by name, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, oh, what's the, what's the term we're going by nowadays? Aboriginal? Uh, First Nations. So, like, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm OG Canadian, in fact. <laughs> I'm as Canadian as they come. Oh, shit. All on Artemis. Great. Oh, my God. There it is. I see it. Yes. <laughs> when was this? This was fucking... This was like a month. This is 15 days ago. I'm the worst person. God. Uh, indigenous? Oh, yeah. No, no. You spelled it right. You're good. Literally, your first tweet is a reference sheet and then me. And I am an... I'm the worst. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> the wrongs have been righted slightly. Oh my god. As the only student in high school that shows the class related to the First Nations elective by choice and not because the other ones were full. Oh. I think a lot of a lot of different high schools had the like First Nations class or whatever. It was mainly full of like Aboriginal people. Honestly. It was full of natives, essentially. So. Which I think, again, the the I think. They've changed the term a lot. It was like native, first nations, indigenous, aboriginal, um, any, any, any sort of that. We've bounced around a lot. I have no problem with any of those. It is fine. So all good. Say whatever you feel. Don't say the obvious bad ones, but any of those, totally fine. But yes, my name, my name directly translates to essentially, uh, uh, blood of the white wolf or something along those lines so yeah i'm not going to tell you which part means what 
because I think it's funnier to find out later down the road. Let's go, Métis! Actually, I also find it really funny. So for anybody who doesn't know what Métis means, Métis is... Your model is literally your name. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, anybody who doesn't know what Métis means, there's two different types of Métis. There's Métis with a capital M, which means French mixed with Aboriginal. And then there's Métis with a little M, which means anything else mixed with Aboriginal. <laughs> and I do think it is quite funny that the French specifically, the French mix specifically have the uh, capital M. There's a difference? Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah, there is. <laughs> I don't know why specifically they just like did that, but yeah. So yeah, something something a little different there. If you didn't know, now you know. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, also, That makes more sense. <laughs> My brain thought of pirates like Métis. Oh. <laughs> no, Métis is M-E-T-I-S. Um, but yeah. So that that was a lot of fun to, to figure out and be like, oh, you're not you're not French native, you're this native. Okay, go. You're the little M, got it. So <laughs> it's really funny and it's kind of cruel, but like it's those people are good with it. I got notifications on now. I won't. <laughs> Hang on. Gotta, gotta find the right one. It's just, yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> all right, all good. I don't need more more. I want more Fremos. I think one of the drops is Primo Gems. I don't think it's a lot, though. Or the Artifact. You know what? Actually, I would watch my own stream if I could get the own drops, but I can't. I need other people to play Genshin. Damn it. Can I stream Genshin? <laughs> Alright, let's continue the story. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Maybe, actually. Alright, then. Please do let me know if you'd like more Look at this tea. guy! This one shoulder armor as piece? Long as you like. Hang on. Look at this dope man's. The hell? Oh, for a generic NPC, you got some cool armor. Here. Really gonna. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> I don't like trial characters where it's like, hey, you got to pick these specific characters, but. Or you first round every challenge, you can select four characters to form a team. And before each following challenge round, you can select two characters to join the team. Trial characters in this gameplay will inherit the actual constellations you own for them. Oh, cool. Okay. Why did the where did the music uh I'm deaf up here I've I've gone deaf that was weird Can I have the music back now no okay mind <laughs> I haven't launched Genshin since the downloading the update and getting my boy gumming yeah fair there's no reason to like I said it's very understandable if the only thing you do is just Download the game, get the one character you want, and then turn it off. Totally fine. Also, if you could give other people the rewards, that would be super dope. So, I... Also, I won't be doing this until three days from now, because there's no reason to. I like to do all of these events when they're like, oh, you these unlock in one day, two day, three days, all that stuff. I like to do them in one sitting, so in three days, I'll be doing this event. But 
Not now. How long is it up for? Yeah, in three days I'll be doing it. Till then, I'm going to ignore it. See that chat? I was intense on it, but then I drifted out after burnout because this game fucking burns the shit hey! out of people. What are you doing here? Actually, true. Why are you here? Um, but yeah, no, uh, same. Honestly, I was burnt out. Um, halfway, I think halfway through Samaru, I was like, I'm good. I'm done. I don't. I don't need to play this no more. And I turned it off. I I deleted it off my phone and um, didn't really have any other way to play it really. I was like done. And then I reinstalled it because, or I installed it on my PC because I had to play, I had to help uh, Grem grind or like other things. And I was like, totally, I was fine doing that. So I mean, it sounded like it was bad, but that was the only reason I turned it on. It was for like the only, that was it. And then uh, I was kind of just like fully done with it. And then Fontaine came out with a beautiful character known as Farina, my wife. And uh, yeah, no. I've been playing it since. I have notebooks to do calculations and team comps. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, here we are. A full full Genshin streamer. All right, cool. I'm going to do the, the joke for the fourth time, I think, because it would be funny, but um, switch to my offline screen for again. <laughs> How dare you? Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Honestly, no. Ever since doing your story, you are one of the best characters in Genshin. You are legit. Jinyun or uh, Jinyun? Yeah. Shadow Heart doesn't need to be good in a fight. I haven't heard that in a minute. She's my little mentally ill princess. Shadow Heart. Also, I finished Baldur's Gate, uh, so I can play that on stream. And even if stuff gets spoiled for things I haven't done, I know the basics of the entire game, so we're good. I there is a Farina redeem. It just it costs money. <laughs> it's the buy me Prada thing. That's Farina. I thought that audio was from Genshin. I was like, what? Yeah, fair. Um, yeah, I... Also, yeah, not to call her Cloud Retainer. Not her name at the moment. But she is literally the best mother in Genshin. That's it. Bar none. It's probably the best mother in gaming this year. Honestly. She wins. She's so supportive... And just so caring and kind. And even if she speaks a little like like hoity-toity from time to time, she's still just so good. If you missed it, it's up on YouTube. But I cried. Because she's so compassionate. <laughs> Take note, Pylon. Will it be uncensored, you Baldur's Gate? Thing or two about how to respect your elders. Yeah, Paimon. Also, no. Just be... Oh, maybe... I wonder how Twitch would feel about that. It'd be fine. Surely. <laughs> Surely it'd be fine. It's not like that bad, honestly. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? I'm on, why are you such a bitch? Fuck. <laughs> and what's with that huge box next to you? Ah, Pinon gets it. To do some shopping, aren't you? I don't like where this conversation is headed. What do you mean my <laughs> card's been declined? Try it again. Buy me Prada. Balenciaga. Cut the drama. Let's go Bahamas. <laughs> I don't know who did it, but thank you for playing. <laughs> thank you for playing the Farina Redeem. And yeah, I believe that's actually Farina's voice actor i don't think she did it i think it's tech so i don't don't that. it's funny and what of it the chishing's decision to integrate fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such I um it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Mooncarver told us. Or Tia something and Ho. Oh. Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Like, that's rude, right? Like, what the fuck, Paimon? Worst. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to 
pass along the regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Tianyin? Huh. Did... Did you forget about them? Huh. It appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two <gasps> old fossils? No! <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. In Twitter, just the mistake of her time, feel bad again. You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Yes. Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. She's kind, considerate, and great. Fuck you. <laughs> also, I'll leave the stuff watching you. Bye, Pama. Well, neither is your tone and sarcasm. Uh, just come back soon, okay? Come on! <laughs> doesn't want anyone to try and steal Nice, left. <laughs> Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Also, her name. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. <laughs> this merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. Then four shall suffice. Hmm. I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Oh my god. Look at the magnificent design. Oh my and the god. Red ribbon gives She's being manipulated. Flair, get in there and help. Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples... Don't need that much tea. Hmm. Don't need that much tea. Stop it. Ten. A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. You're a that you're a is agreeable. Person. One will um I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course. Right away. She is like a millionaire though. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Don't perhaps don't. some of my wares no. might also be of interest. To <laughs> She's you. being swindled. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. No. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork no. toys Mora can buy here. Hang on. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. We're all supporting my little guardian protector when I drive home because I get it. Oh no! That's emergency <laughs> acrylic food? Oh, that's amazing. Cryo Abyss Mage hooded blanket cake. Oh, that sounds so comfy though. I wanted a, um, I could probably buy one actually. I why I'm waiting to like buy it. I don't know. There's the a Farina cat plush. I know if y'all follow uh Dolly or Sheepers call her, she uh she's posted about it, I believe. Uh she has a, a Farina plush cat, has like the little hat and stuff. And there's a bunch of variations of them where there's like some for like um for the the wanderer and for like um Nouvellet and stuff like that as well. They all look super adorable. If you like cats and you like Genshin, that's probably right up here. Um, I believe, I think the reason I didn't buy it is because when I went to buy it, they were sold out. So I think that's why I didn't. Also, look at these leaves. They're so pretty. Put my doll in plush addiction recently. I have too many. First off, you can never have too many. Secondly, no such thing as a doll and plush addiction. It just means you have a lot of cute. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. 
When should said amusement be derived? Damn. Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> Okay. It, there is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Oh. Ah, of course. Here you go. The Ish. instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this... A child's plaything, no less. It would only invite scandal. Can we all agree that Jin Yun is like one of the best designs in Genshin right now? Like, perhaps? I've never started and I don't have an addiction. Stairs on my headphones and my microphones, cars, and all of my instruments. Let's not worry about your addictions, Chad. <laughs> oh, what about all of your wives in Otomoe games? Hmm. All of your bubble wrap? <laughs> Surely you don't have that many. <laughs> oh, Lep, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah? What would what would Peanut say? How dare you call her not an addiction? How dare you? Also, I think I'd have to actually I don't know if Lep can hear me or not. Got the Got the audio thing on. Somebody say hi to Lep for me. <laughs> there is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. I should head back before. Weird transition, but okay. Oh, Shenyun, did your shopping go smoothly? <sighs> Don't bring her into this. <laughs> One may not delight in social interactions, Ugh. but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. Faculties? Seems Zinyan is easily swayed into buying things. The box looks fit to burst already. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf, but it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition, then? Oh. <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making I love her expertise. so much. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and ejected the next. Hmm. Also, I don't think she has a shopping addiction. I think she just... She keeps thinking about like, oh, other people could do these things so I can buy it for them. Or she has, oh my God, she has my problem. <laughs> Where people say, I want this thing. And then I'm like, oh, I got money. I'll buy it for you. I do that all the time. <laughs> I do that all the time. I don't regret it ever because obviously if you can't afford it and you're having a good time, you want to like have a good time with the thing and you, you want the thing and I got the money for it, I'll just buy it for you. It's fine. Um, I have no problem doing that. I have, however, had people yell at me for doing it. <laughs> um, multiple people, in fact. So, so she, I think she's got my problem where she's just thinking of others being like, yeah, no, no, I got this for you. Go whatever, do the thing. And I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's her having a problem of like shopping for her. I think it's shopping for others. <laughs> I've seen the yelling. Yep. <laughs> One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Yay! Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xianyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> Tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal I was going to say, yeah, it sounds super fun. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power. 
but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving what? one's breath. But I was listening to you sure very... It seems like you want to talk about it, though. You were talking... You were super into it. What the fuck? No, keep going. So, will you be attending the workshop no! or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? Yeah, Paimon, where have you been? Also, yeah, she sounded... She sounded super... Ah, I hate when people do that. They cut themselves off because it's like either like, oh, you're not interested or like, ah, oh, there's no way you would care. I hate that shit. No, keep talking about your shit that interests you. Hell yeah, ramble about that shit as much as you want. I will be right fucking there supporting that shit because it's amazing every goddamn time. Ah, I hate when people cut off other people because they're like, no, 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 I don't want to listen to that thing you're interested in. You're a piece of shit. I hate when people say that. Don't fucking do that. Talk about your shit. Info dump as much as you want. Hell yeah, go off about it. I will say probably not in chat because that will be walls of text that I don't think I could keep up with. But uh, I made... Or I didn't make. Uh, Kara did that on Twitter. Um, and she was basically like, oh, here's all of this information on... Uh, there was a bunch of different things. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. It was totally great. Hell yeah. When did I get VIP? Uh, when I realized my mistake. <laughs> because you very clearly deserve it. Chud, you realize I've like, yeah, no, multiple times I've been like, talk about your shit. I love it. It's great. I got no problem. It's, it's, it's so much fun listening to people talk about shit that they're interested in. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm always the first one there when people are talking about stuff that they're interested in. I will 100% I'll sit right there and I'll listen to every word. Now, granted, I have the memory of a funnel or a, a strainer. So yeah, it disappears, but I'm interested. I just can't remember what you were talking about because I'm horrible at it. <laughs> Ten year old brain is giggling so much right now. Yeah. I think that's something that you don't hear enough, right? Like people don't, people don't have a lot of, um, they don't, they don't hear that enough. Like there's a lot of the world will like beat you down and tell you like, you can't talk about the things that you're interested in unless you have a specific group of people that are interested in this stuff like that. There's so many moments where you will, you'll be interested in something and be talking to somebody and they'll just go like, oh, that's cool. Okay. Anyway, about the thing that I was talking about and they'll cut you off and it, it diminishes that feeling of excitement that you get when you're talking about that really cool thing that you like. And I will strive to constantly tell people, do that feeling, let exist in that feeling and talk about it as much as you want. You'll always have somebody like me to listen to it. That's absolutely like, that is not a problem. I will constantly listen to it because it's, it's great. I love listening to people talk about the shit that they find interesting. <laughs> Such a good item to choose. Potting mix because it's random funny objects. <laughs> Water funnel seriously. <laughs> like I said, it's either a funnel or a strainer depending on the day. But yeah, like I, I'll, I'll forever be interested in people talking about their stuff. It's just my brain works at like 10,000 miles a minute. It's constantly going about all these different things. I have ADD, OD, OCD, and... God knows what other other things. So I'm having a time in my head, but I'm listening to what you're saying. It's just everything in my head's on fire. So <laughs> we don't get to choose what stays. Oh yeah, no, autistic people love me. And I love autistic people because they're great. They always have these really unique fixations and like amazing things going on in their head of like things that they want to talk about. And it's just like you wouldn't get that from like random businessman B who wants to talk about like stocks. And I'm like, they are never interested in their own thing that they want to talk about. They're just passing time. They're just, you know, shooting the breeze. But not to call out all autistic people. They definitely will sit there and like 
this is the thing that I'm currently fixated on. And it's like dope. And they'll tell you so many crazy facts about those things that you would have never known. Like, cause you're not going to look into it, right? Mainly because either A, it's not the current thing that you're looking at getting fixated at, or B, it's just not something you would have ever looked into. And so then you have those moments where those people will come up to you and they'll, they'll tell you about it. And, oh, that's cool as hell. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a good listener. I just, my memory shit. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta, and plus you gotta be willing to learn things, right? Like if you don't, if you're not willing to learn things, no matter how old you are, if you're not willing to learn things, then you'll just stay ignorant and it won't be any fun for you. You'll just, you won't know new things. You won't be able to grow as a person. It's boring. Like, nah, you gotta be willing to constantly learn new things. There's so many things out there that there's no way that you know everything. So always being willing to learn is something that's super, super important. Also, I've just remembered that I've had this on for too long and I actually make the redeem worth the money. Hang on. <laughs> uh oh. It doesn't want to work. Never mind. I get stuck with this. <laughs> Went to press the button. It didn't work, and it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I went to click off of it, and it just didn't. They didn't. It didn't care. <laughs> the The program was like, "Nope, how dare you?" <laughs> All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you Let's eating? go! Don't you want a guide to help you with that big box of yours? Won't she just carry it herself? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one it just stays on. rely on another? It does. <laughs> Self-moving backpack? Calls it the floating toting device. Dude, the FTD, let's go! Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. Yeah, because it's Look cool. at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders. Oh. Uh, never mind. But Hopefully anyway, she doesn't notice those stairs. Jesus with the post check stretch and hydrate, I shall do all three. Bobs. Was peeking or anything, she just uh got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. <sighs> Paimon, what will I do with you? All Paimon say is that Shen Yun sure does try hard to save face. They're what just jealous they don't have an FTD, exactly. A good piece of mortal machinery. That she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Bro. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. When it comes to an elder, right? I don't regret anything. All right. Wait until the appointed time two days later. Oh. Time to wait for time. The wrong. All right, two days later. Why is she so rude? But Paimon? Because I don't know, actually. She's gotten worse, honestly, over the course of the... Over the course of the years of this game.
This might actually finish today. Guys, we gotta finish the event first. Oh, hell. Gotta wait another day. 805, baby. As everybody online said, gaming. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Don't know what it is, but I'll contribute anyway. So, I have made a point challenge because I I feel like I we should we should do more of these. So we're gonna do more of these different games, different like challenges of different challenge runs and stuff like that, based off of this stuff. But for now, there's a game that I played a while ago that was not <laughs> not family friendly. Well, maybe too family friendly. Um, and, uh, I played the trial of it, the demo of it, essentially. And, uh, I realized that two chapters of it have actually come out at this point with the third chapter on its way shortly. Um, and I was like, well, I could play this game again if people want it. <laughs> and so I put up a challenge for it and, uh, yeah, that's where we are. But once that gets finished, we'll be playing the game. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's what that is. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a thing. As you talk, piping hot dim sum dishes arrive at the table, one after the other. And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, a hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood. Wow, so much delicious food. Do you really eat all oh. this just for breakfast? You want to be a good boy for mommy? Make me feel good? You're a bottom! You're not, You're not allowed, allowed to talk, talk like, like that! that. You going to keep being a good boy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Also, it caps out at 2k, so you can't go any higher than 2k. Um, but there's the redeem you were wondering about. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have done it myself, yeah. All Thanos styled. Point challenge I made for his Elden Ring run, but without earning any ascended Eden run. My bad. Sorry. My soul's brain really changed that word. <laughs> An Eden run, but without earning any ascended candles. So far, I'm still safe at zero contributions to do it. Oh, I can fix that. And I can make people want to fix that. Send people. Over. Don't worry. Get it done. One don't say that. Oh, uh, I'm going to put up a warning when we start that stream as well, just to be like, hey, 
this is what's involved in this game. If you don't want to watch it, totally fine. It's okay. This is the subject matter. Just so you know. Go for that. Not being able to contribute well offline. Oh, yeah. This is also really cute. Really cute artwork. <laughs> that's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dinner. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. My speaker's volumes are panicking. Enough, oh, I guess the sound waves are kind of loud. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. What about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Because it was sus? Oh, okay. Fair. <laughs> I think that's my sussest one. My other redeems. No, I think that's... I think that's the sussiest one. I think the rest of them are pretty safe. Maybe. I was going to add another one from... Uh, going to add another one from Hasbin Hotel. Keep forgetting to do that, so we're going to do that after stream. <clears throat> Paimon's going to take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. Getting dangerously close, chat. <laughs> this is supposed to take like a couple days. You know what? This is actually good. This is good information. I have a... Uh, Eeny teeny peeny shrimp. <laughs> I have a good eeny, way to now... A teeny peeny shrimp. Change it for next time. So that I know that you guys can do this much in one day. Dope. I'll double it next time. 72 points right now. I'm poor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, on the plus side... For everybody who's spent a lot of points today, uh, I stream a lot, and usually for long periods of time, long-ish, depending on how I'm feeling mentally. Um, so, there's no lack of points to be earned. And now I'm at zero. <laughs> Did you put another 72 in? The, like, hype rave fire. Fair. I, I assume he'd be calling in the uh, the cavalry at this point. Everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes exquisite and is uniquely flavorful. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy a pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. <sighs> so I zoom in on her stomach. Cool. The model's that not going to change. So satisfying. It even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. That is not oh, how that works. Listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. What, the meaning of life? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just oh. for the three of us. Oh. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. I'd fund the rest if it wasn't 2K max. Yeah, I... Everybody's in that boat. Also, I can't change that. That wasn't on purpose. They literally won't let me change that setting. So if I could change it, I probably would have made it a lot more and been like, go for it. <laughs> Use all of your points. I dare you. Um, but no. Anyways, I don't think he's from a rich family, but go on. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. Uh... <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. What is the forbidden game? If we get there, I'll tell you. Until then, just know it's a forbidden game. More often than not, it requires warnings. Some doors to find out for yourself. Oh my god, the way Gaming pronounces things show so accurately. I mean, 
Doming's voice actor is absolutely like, you know, good at clickbaiting. It's, oh yeah, oh yeah, I've been doing this for years. <laughs> oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Okay, okay, enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small-scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the oh, family no. business. To be a merchant like him. Oh no! But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Oh no. <laughs> Doming always seems so happy and carefree. The most serious I've seen him. Topic must be very important. Have you ever talked to him about it? You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushou dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. In the end, I was so angry that I Just ran away from minute. home. Oh. I haven't been back since. Oh, uh, no. Uh, don't get in my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. Whoa, hang on. At what point do you think, I mean, Paimon might, but what point do you think I would ever? There. <laughs> so, yeah, I know you made another account. Please don't, everybody, don't do that. It creates problems, okay? <laughs> Funny ones, that's it. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> and you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So, I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. Wait, what? Auntie, what? There's no way you would dress a mighty, mighty illuminated adeptus. <laughs> it's absolutely a way to go. That title certainly humanizes her a bit. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dice. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? I'll be honest. I was handling another thing, so I zoned out. He's still, like... They're liking him, right? They're not, like, making him... He needs head pets, absolutely. He needs a hug. 
what he needs. Like a lot of people in this game. Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Shen Yun wants to use those dice in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! Well, that worked out. Alright. Where's the exit? How do I leave? Wait, how do I leave? What the fuck? Oh. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Alright, we have to go to... Hang on, one, one second, I gotta say one thing and then we'll be good to go here. Bom, 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 bom. Good, I can focus. Make a sleep. Oh, I gotta go, gotta crash. Okay, get some good sleep. Writing each other one Tea more time before I go. Sleep well. The well Thanks so much for coming out. If you'd like to learn the proper I'm so sorry about the Twitter incident, but don't worry. All good. Now I got notifications on. I won't miss it. I promise. <laughs> Where's my old lady? There's I trust you have packed ample foodstuffs. Where's, where's my old lady? Wife. But yes, rest well. I will catch you another time. Come on, wake up. Some friends Sorry again for arrived. Twitter. Hello, friends. <sighs> or, uh, working yourself to sleep again? I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <laughs> she fell back asleep. Oh my god, she's so cute. Hmm. She snores. She Apologies snores. In advance. Oh, don't hit her. Wait, oh. Shen, huh? Not there. Oh. <laughs> they start a small green bottle, extract uh, some minty smelling liquid, and applied it to Genyu's horns. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just, again, for future reference, nobody else make another account that literally does cause problems on followers, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> God damn it. Yao Yao and Paimon look on in shock. Mouths agape. They cannot stop her in time. <coughs> See? It worked. She's awake. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... chilly all over. <sighs> huh. 
Was it that effective? Chili, huh? Mm. Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. <sighs> I... I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm, perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. I... I could never. I'm sorry, I seem to have missed your name. You are... Oh, I thought she was talking to Shen Ha. I'm like, oh no, she's got amnesia. Also, it's worth noting that Ganyu works like way too hard. Like way too hard. She needs to like find that work-life balance and like get some... Um, but also watching Shen Ha and Ganyu talk to each other like sisters, it's the cutest fucking thing. They're so adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> Me? My name is Gami. <laughs> I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Hey, Graham, how you doing? <laughs> oh. Hope you're resting your nips. <laughs> Is that a frog? Do you guys see the frog in the background? It was going wild for a second there. Coming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can't watch because spoils, but I'm here in spirit. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Hang on. I'm going to not go any further. Definitely don't watch. This is the Lantern Rite stuff. Although, Graham, if you don't do it in the next, like, 10 days, you're going to miss out. So you got to gotta get on it at some point here. Because it's you're running out of time, and this will be gone forever. And you especially, with lantern right stuff, should do this at some point. <sighs> the, it's oh no, dog no, dog. Anyway, <clears throat> well, there was no stopping. This is a canon event. Okay, sorry, group chat. All right, continuing. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Anyway, yes, uh, Graham, don't watch because it is spoils. This is the second mission in the mission of like four or five or something like that. So, don't spoil yourself. Thanks for popping in and donating toward the forbidden game. Um, but, uh, but yeah, don't please, this is spoils for you. Don't watch. Um, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's like princess. Up. Please go get rest. You had a, you had an eventful day. ending stream. I'm ending stream before you can get this off. I'm ending stream before you can get this off. <laughs> hey, Dino, how you doing? God damn it. No way. He doesn't have a thousand points. Uh, well, you know me. He doesn't or have a thousand points. <laughs> My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. It's an honor to finally meet you all. I'm trying to get through this oh, event. You must Please. be here for Anti Shenha's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor yes flown weird. a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, 
I am willing to learn. It Me too. No, I did. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Ooh. Chi Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Aww. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Hey, well, she's a good we're daughter. Here, but where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on, <laughs> you think? You clearly hurt Paimon. How could you Master misjudge that? Master grilled tiger fish to share with us. you wait. Come get it while it's still warm. She actually came back. She's not just a, like, relegated to the background character. She actually came back. Damn. All right, Genshin. Nice. Oh, oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? <laughs> Oof. The entertainer sets down her bags while Shuyu hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usually tranquil environment of Mount... Oh, so. <sighs> I don't think I. So delicious. Paimon's life is complete. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were feeding. Yes? Are there any questions? Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. I only need... I'll be the one making it anyways. She could count on you, traveler. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. She's so, so patient and kind. Started, ah! Why don't we go see what the others are up to? A cute. We're so close we can do. It gets done. I'm gonna be right hey, back. Have food and What's like, up? just be huh? right back. Wait, and I have to participate. Oh, from there. I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just. I'm on. You're such a fucking bitch. <laughs> it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? Butterfly symbolizes the desire for freedom. Perhaps that's all. What do you think, Shane? Damn! Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, what? That might be a little hard to pull off. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. too popular can be such a hassle who knew the people would adore me so much huh? 
Tea parties are a must for the well-mannered. If you'd like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be happy to teach you. Definitely paying attention. One second. I'm gonna look back over it. No, okay. We're good. I'm not there. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Nothing. Okay. All right. Um, Shenhe, it would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Aww. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch, with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just... refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <laughs> Anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. <clears throat> Alright. Talk to Yao Yao. <laughs> That was a nice interaction. Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? <laughs> mm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Aww. One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. She's such a supportive mother. I can't. <laughs> what color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friends. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? <laughs> With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, Yao Yao cool. and Chi-Chi being friends is so <laughs> cute. Thanks, Cloud Retainer. Ah. I'm going to start painting it gold right now. Good. 
One will watch. <laughs> you two seem strangely unoccupied. One was under the impression yeah. that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Oh, we actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we should get started on our kite now. Let's oh, go. yeah. Just totally. I, can I actually make the kite? First, or? we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> making, obvious answer is to make it a Paimon-shaped kite. <laughs> I knew where it was going as soon as he started. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. If Paimon in the sky. If a Paimon-shaped kite, could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. You build a kite according to Cloud Retainer's instruction. Oh my god, it's adorable. Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. Oh my god. She's <laughs> like afraid, guilty. Ah, uh, I'll be nice to pop. I'll be nice to look pleased with herself. Ooh, like this? <laughs> the title of champion kite flyer is mine. <sighs> regret. I regret giving you any sort of confidence. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. Say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Maybe. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Gather around, everyone. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. Look like. Let me see the kite. Oh. Hmm. Let one take a look. Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. It made a what? It's Twitch. That's not allowed. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. Hey, they made her. That's cute. Oh my god. I mean, is that your head? If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. Uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze Wait. off while painting it on you? I did the painting. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. That was a cute image. Oh, well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too. Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. Well, that's the game done. <laughs> okay, here's how this is going to work. God damn it. <laughs> Here's how this is going to work. We're going to finish this quest. And then we're going to switch over to it. We're not going to finish the event. We're just going to finish the quest. Well, hang on. Because if I finish this quest, play a different game, we're never coming back. I want to react to this. Hmm. Okay. New plan. The stream is about to be way longer then. Uh, we're going to finish this event stuff in it and stuff like that, all that stuff. And then we're going to switch over to that and play that as well. So I hope you guys are ready for a long stream because here we go. Uh, but since that has now been 
gotten, I need to do a couple of things of uh, eating. We're going to finish this scenario thing off, and then we're going to grab food, and then this stream is about to be long. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? Wow. The disciples of Adepti really are Violence. Uh, the, I'm glad that everybody likes the pounce, by the way. I really, I really like that likeness. one. The swanee that Gaoming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. <sighs> I'll say it after this. Cute too, Yao Yao. Can't really clickbait you guys anymore, you guys. All thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your yeah. kind of traveler? <laughs> Sorry, I spoiled. No, no, you're good. Uh, so, a while back, I played a game called The Coffin of Andy and Lele. It was a interesting experience. Um, but it was only the demo. I'll leave my message if you like. No, 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 it's fine. Um, but it was only the demo. Uh, so, basically, since then, they have released two chapters going on a third uh, coming out soon. So, we are going to play that game. Which means we'll be playing chapter one and two. And then when chapter three releases, we'll be playing that as well. And so on until it's finished. And I also now need to think of another challenge to do. Because they are fun. I like when people spend their points. So <laughs> need to think of a probably more expensive one, though. Something that's going to hurt needs. Or in game hurt, I guess, or mentally um, needs to needs to be a little bit more. Its self-important countenance bears a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. It makes her look like she's already won the competition. Well, that's gonna happen one way or another. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Is that the Jade Chamber? Oh. As a gentle breeze brushes past the Jade Chamber. Drapes down and lands at everyone's feet. Oh, who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? <laughs> oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Probably the oh, other two. One right? simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud Retainer? Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Master's going to be okay, right? I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. There. Actually, good point. <laughs> Looks like we can glide over. Oh my god, we actually got the kite. <laughs> Paimon kite. Right where? Near. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? <laughs> it was one believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. <laughs> Your concern is misplaced, surely. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. 
On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. Huh? Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her? <laughs> it had this scene. That would have been great. <laughs> Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. We can hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. That is not our kite. <laughs> oh, so an adeptus Under such that. as oneself is mistaken then? Ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. <laughs> I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> well, and if that's all... Guys, you're not good at this. We'll just be on our way. <laughs> We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyun. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you doing here? Oh, that was fast. Never mind. <laughs> I... You. Uh, she didn't know? <laughs> she didn't know? Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their okay, disguises. Good. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. <laughs> she knew. She had to know. you are not angry? Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> hmm. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. I don't know that that's possible, oh, actually. Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. I mean, I could teleport and I think I'd still be... Wait, are they not gonna give me a fucking? Oh, that's rude. You're gonna make me teleport over that. <laughs> By the way, I always went this way around the mountain. This way is a lot faster. <laughs> the other way you go are like like over a mountain is. They're back. Oh. <laughs> My mind's pooped. Uh, why are there only two of you left? 
after you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. All right. All right, Gaming. Cool. Nope. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Himself reflected in them. A reflection of himself. Oh. If I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? <sighs> it may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Fuck off, Paimon. Where were you anyway? God damn it. Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Oh, nope. It's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Speaking of food, uh, I'm hungry. Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. I called dibs on Paimon's portion. Hey! Paimon's hungry too! It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? Oh my god. Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, Girl black hole. What's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Go to the abode entrance. Shower me with praise. Best character. I don't care what anyone says. Being able to walk on water is great. Wait outside cloud retainers abode for a few. This is <gasps> their outfits! They're in their outfits! No! <laughs> I didn't want to see them in game. Damn it. Pricey motherfuckers. God damn it. <sighs> I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Flushing. Cute. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. How do we look? Huh? She asked them just like that? <laughs> you look great. You look pretty too, Ganyu! Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined! Those outfits really suit you both! Look how... Effortlessly, Shen ha is posing. Like, yeah, look at me. I look great. Fuck. God, you're so shy. Ah. <laughs> These outfits cost actual money, chat. They cost actual money. And I'll be honest, if they were characters I used, I'd buy them. But I don't use either one of these characters. But they look fucking great. 
Just look at those thighs. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. Oh, oh, oh you know what, fair. And you, Ganyu? I uh. favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? Yes, very. You're so good to As her daughters. Not uh. you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Thank you, Master. One is content. As long as you are pleased with the gift, one hopes these garments will see much use. Sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan! This golden crab's particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! Wait, you're not... <laughs> Paimon can't oh. stop eating! It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks! <laughs> Close match. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh, well... One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Huh. One has high standards. <laughs> he appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh. What strange metaphors you speak in, Shenhe. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. True. She's becoming more human. Also, she's still wearing all of her red string. Love that they put that attention to detail. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Oh, we're just airing public... Uh, we're just, just going to do that? That's okay. One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. Paimon tells Cloud Retainer everything she knows about the Gaming what? family situation. This shall not do. Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And later... <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. True. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. 
If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. Oh. That's nice and all, but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps Adeptal Arts could be of use. Oh, no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea! How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? No! <laughs> yep! Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Well. Return in two days. All right, that's that the... We can do this one now. So much more to do, Chip. So much more coming. I hope you all ready. Actually, I'm gonna leave it here because it's gonna be our back screen. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna be right back. Enjoy the lovely sounds of this screen. Hopefully they don't stop because the music has a tendency to do that in Genshin. Um, I'm gonna grab some food and be right back. If y'all need to get up, stretch, grab some food, grab a snack or two, just go to the washroom, any of those things, please go and do that. Your health is what matters. And we're going to be here for a while, so please go and do those things. Okay, I'll be back.
Oh, I'm surprised the music's actually still going. Okay. Uh, I think we can do this now. Where's this at? Oh. Also, Chad, I got foods. It's uh, scrambled egg, uh, fried potatoes, steak bites, and hollandaise sauce. Can't wait. Esteemed guests, I, the apprentice storyteller John Chu, must humbly request you cease your steps for a moment. Perhaps you have heard the tale that goes something like this. In the beautiful night of the lantern rite, flaming lights once danced across the sky like glowing brushes, like a majestic scroll. <sighs> Paimon didn't quite. Flaming lights? Painting the sky? That's not something ordinary people could do. If you had some kind of airship, there's no, no kind of mysterious paint that can just hang in the air like that. That's some good noms. Oh yeah. Oh, super tasty sound. Like a seriously exaggerated analogy. Would you be talking about fireworks? Anyway, the protagonists of this tale are none other than you two, the renowned Miko whose fame has spread throughout the land and her companion, Paimon. Huh? Why is it suddenly about us? Perhaps you've already forgotten. This is the, the this time last year you accepted a commission from the uh the NTN and participated in a special speedrun challenge. The speedrun challenge was illuminated by the glow of fireworks. The sight most majestic, a, a splendorous scene not off scene. It, Paimon kind of that we helped some promoter from the event. Said you wanted to use the event to recruit. Yeah, if it actually. At the time, I was drowning my sorrows in liquor near the Wangshu Inn. Oh, okay. And as I looked up, I saw your silhouettes framed by fireworks. Now, in a moment, sadness from flunking an exam, my confusion about the path that lay was all dispelled in a flash by your radiant figures blazing bright. So I pulled myself together and continued my research into folktales, and thus came to Shenyu Vale, drinking deep of my favorite subject. I must thank you for the Not just me, any removed by your splendid silhouettes, joining the Adventurers Guild and finding new directions. <laughs> I never imagined something like anything like that. We didn't even notice anyone's watching at the and didn't even think us joining on a little race could inspire. You put it like that, it's kind of embarrassing. Good to see that your spirits have. Congratulations on getting it all together. Running to you today is truly good fortune. There's one thing I ask. Pressing my... Please, pass your radiant glory onward and continue to inspire even more people. Though we aren't as nearly great as you say, we're good. We've got a good idea going. Or you've got a good idea going here. Cheer up more people, we're in. So, now that you mention it, just what should we do? In accordance with usual practices, I use Tian Tian's racing challenge as a reference up with other adventurers inspired by you. You've planned a brand new activity, iridescent cloud. And there are many wondrous things here in Genu Vale, including the strange carp whose power allows you to travel most swiftly. All you need to do is vault over valleys and mount on mountaintops with your... Showing your vibrant dynamism, 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 oh my god, to all sun, to all and sundry just as before. Yeah, we're in. Of course, beyond the more I have prepared as a token of appreciation, we prepared a variety of other rewards to express. Such paltry gestures pale with the hope that you've gifted so many with the excitement of your past seasons. Uh, but that's not all. In the future, we will find more chances to repay you. You're too kind. Keep on journeying and helping out those in the, uh, need along the way. Even after hearing you, we're even more inspired to keep on adventuring. Give this iridescent cloud shredding a try. Hey, what is it? I only have to score a thousand. It is, but... Travelers, or anything I can do? Yes. Lantern, right?
Okay. During iridescent cloud shrouding challenges, you must reach your destination while collecting as many jade lotus lanterns as day to obtain a score as high as possible. Ominous lanterns will present during, be pre present during the challenge. will have points deducted if you pick them up. After you come in contact with the fireworks lanterns, they will explode and you will trigger the pickup objects with an explosion radius. Oh. There will be cunning plans to be picked up near the Golden Carp's lap, lap, Leap Pearl. It can help you complete income. Picking up the cunning plan cash advance, uh, Jade Lotus Lanterns will appear before you for a limited time. This will help you obtain... Or, oh, uh, you're going to tell me about the rest. Never mind. Perfect moment. Go. Doing this right? I feel like I'm missing some. Um. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I didn't. 46? Oh, yeah. All right. Easy. Okay. Next one. When it is. All right. So the fire ones don't cause problems. The other ones do. The Ominous lanterns before you will regularly turn into Franco lanterns. Oh! Oh, that's good. Okay. So, what does this one do? Explosion contacts gather all items within the explosion radius. Okay. Good thing. Okay. Do it. Awesome, by the way. Actually, a really fun event. Whoosh. Hey, let's go. Perfect. All right, where's this one? Oh. I like these kinds of events. Very, like... They're not, like, super easy, but they're not super challenging. You just kind of have to, like, read what things do and... After picking up cunning plan pyrotechnical amusement, special moving fireworks lanterns will appear before you during the next golden carp sleep. Or double point. Oh. That. Yeah, these are fun. I don't mind these ones at all. Like I said, they're not like crazy challenging, but they're also like not.
Let's go. Thirty-seven. Sixty. After this, I think we... Two more story missions and then we're off to... Off and game. Which, from what I've seen, has some interesting... Still got 3,000. Oh, nice. They give me. Okay, last one. Got distracted by the thing that was down there. It's up. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Any fish would like to... Oh, wait. Maybe. Simply... Really? I see everything. <laughs> More shield for you, bitch. There is no escape. You are me. this thing. Um, um, um.
Grab the thing. Speed run. I got not a great score on Okay. Honestly, the most important part of the rewards right now are these things right here. This sanctifying... Because uh, they help for artifact leveling. That's the important part. Brown. Those done? No. And we wait two days. Oh, lizard! Really did it all. Gotta go claim my rewards. Right, right here. Also, in case anybody's curious how much it costs, um, about... Forty bucks for outfit, right? On sale, but yeah. Really great outfits. They look great. Like, honestly, solid. Solid outfits. More, more, please. More character outfits for care. Just keep releasing them. Because, like... If a, if, if a new outfit comes out for any of my four characters, I'm buying it. But I don't know why they, they refuse to, like... They refuse to do that. Really meddling in somebody's like person extent. Is that wise? I feel like we shouldn't do that. Wish I could speed time like that. I kind of do, but also like don't. You know? At the same time that I'm like, hell yeah, I wish I could. I watched the movie Click, Adam Sandler. A good message in there, skipping, skipping time. Also, we can know their secrets without trying to meddle in them. It sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect. You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chow oh, no. Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Oh no. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? We're here. Uh, uh. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Um, 
Of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. Boss click the other day? Oh, really? As soon as possible. What are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. That laugh. Whoa! Bro, that lantern right thing looked fucking dope. What the hell? Oh. And we're here. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Little Mao! This is such a... This can go so poorly so fast. It can. Maybe it'll go well, but... Oh, no. Dad? <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself at least. Oh, this is so... Uh... <laughs> the The goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. I don't like this. <sighs> uh, a very important client has asked for you by name. You kind of have to come with us. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. <sighs> this is... This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm on you're so you bad at this. I don't know why the fuck we thought to leave. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, but the winter. Cutting her off. <laughs> this place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... Just let him go. Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Really? Really? <laughs> Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. They look like they're about to Indeed. rob someone. Why do you say that? Readily and without protest. Ah, 
do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, Kamin. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. A thorny foe <laughs> indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Uh-uh. <laughs> don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Away. Let us away. And they're fast. Coming. Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. But coming, I... <sighs> If right. he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. But he also doesn't want to learn the family trade. You gotta respect that as a good father, right? That's what you're trying to be? We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Loud retainer's not in the back. She is. All is going to plan. Terrible plan. Okay, we should be good to stop here. That fucking Zhang Li. Zhang Li? Oh no, what is he doing here? He's flying a gun. <laughs> oh, he's such a good father. He's <laughs> such a good grandpa. Oh, he's flying fucking who tells kite. Uh. Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. There's something hilarious about a random old civilian tea merchant being like, Zhang Li, please. Bandits. Acting in broad daylight. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> it appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. I should figure it out by now. Is he playing dumb? If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Hmm. The guard that was escorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise... ...a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news. Really? <clears throat> Why? You work fine for five hours and then you just stop? Why? Hmm. That would be lovely. Y'all, that food was so good. I might get seconds. <laughs> so, uh, Uncle Lip does have a reason to be worried. After all, oh. Gaming, the guy so you mentioned, is his son. Gaming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyua Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyua Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, 
They have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. Ones not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. Good dad. That is a rare attribute indeed. Go ahead, seconds. Heard many of my <coughs> After this quest, I will. Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. And to have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he... He's a hard worker, yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <sighs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. I don't it's think that's the problem. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. Perhaps. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. Did you know that in a relationship, regardless of who it's with, regardless of its, if it's with a family member or with a significant other and any, any, any capacity, a relationship with friends and such as well. Did you know communication is the most important part and by no point is it too late to talk things through? Like, at any point, you can talk things through. You can reach an agreement on most things. Some things I can understand true, but like, never too late to try. This is some form of stubbornness that I dislike. Also, Kira, with the Hydra Posture can stretch, I should do all three. Thank you very much. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wu-show dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. Ethel, his it creativity, how dare you? For a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Yeah. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. <laughs> Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. I love their relationship. She's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, 
If your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. You Props need this not man for, your heart for changing a little bit and you trying. You need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gamin to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Do things change so quickly? Unfortunately. Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Xiang Li certainly has a way with words. <laughs> For real, though. Shit. <clears throat> oh, Gaming is back. Hey, Gaming, we're over here. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> He's like, why are you here? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> Is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Oh, God. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. Did he catch up to them and they were like, uh, we're not evil. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. <laughs> wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. Well, in the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Lee Yua Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. Yeah, we like sticking our nose where we shouldn't be. Right. Definitely doesn't create any more problems. I appreciate it, I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. It's cool, Zhang Li's over there, so. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> You don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. Will you talk to him? You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Gotta make the first step. No, man. No. Even though I would prefer to not to be a part of this. Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Stop using food metaphor. Listen to us. 
It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Good luck. We'll be rooting for you. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You should try wine. Have you heard the famous line of Osmantis wine? Osmantis wine tastes the same as I remember, but where are those that share that memory? You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> If Doc and I have found many a common interest, our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? <laughs> I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdak, but I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to he's attend. He's so... He's so quick on the uptake! Ah! Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find the time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. We'll see you up, Zhongli. You two have a nice chat, all right? Ooh, and here we go. This is the moment where Genshin introduces quick time events. Oh my god, we're actually not gonna... Zhongli! Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. And it's spoken like that, yeah. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. Thanks, Zhongli. We don't do this often, but thanks. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> change do you uh why did you have us walk all this way paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot a friend approaches hello it's Zhao. let's go rem's so happy right now Zhao, you're here too i've been here the whole time oh i'm sorry ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? That's where his fucking thing is on his wrist? I honestly never know. What is she doing here? Oh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli, <gasps> I might as well go pay my respects. He used his human name. Also, yeah, he gives very good advice. He's been around for a while. That makes sense. <laughs> it's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. <laughs> I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. Just an old man flying a kite in a field for no reason. Ah! <laughs> and here's his grandson Zhao to come along and be like, what the hell? I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Does she rap again this year? I don't know. 
Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. <laughs> I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. The thought of him sitting in his tree, at the very top of that tree flying a kite, is the cutest fucking thing. Oh, uh... Wait, who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. It's so cute. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paima didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Competition is not the important thing right now. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. I haven't flown a kite in a long time, but like... It's a peaceful experience. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Have you? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. Yeah. There's no need. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Absolute. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. My ear, it's so itchy. You're obsessed with flying kites? That's awesome. Nice to... It's nice to hear about people's kite flying experiences. Because usually... Most people I know, like, flew them as a kid and then just kind of, like, let go. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. How's she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. Keep that in mind. Take care, Xiangli. See you later. See you next time. Uh. uh. Dad. Oh, no. Uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. You do. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Sit, Shinha, sit. 
You must be tired from your journey. Oh my god. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? They were trying. Please tell me you're not like two tables away from them. No need. I'm oh my god. Tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Is this is this gonna yes, work? Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Oh no! <laughs> I don't wanna listen to this. <laughs> I don't wanna listen to this. So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose I like. I hate do this so much. I don't like this. I don't like happens. this. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some sunglow tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. What are you saying? Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. <laughs> Forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. <laughs> Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. Oh. Uh -huh. Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? <laughs> You're not helping. <coughs> At all. <laughs> Oh dear, while one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about <laughs> Shenna's various eccentricities. Mm. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other, it would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so bad. How the fuck is this working? How the fuck is this working? I've been too hard on him. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something Other than this fun? plan we've orchestrated. That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. Oh. Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, Rick. they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. <laughs> Just think about it. Shut up! You don't have to decide <laughs> now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Even close, because it's oh, not something that can be done. And like, inside. there's a lizard under her chair. That's not a good sign. Did Shenyun's plan not work after all? 
I mean, it probably would have been fine without them showing up at the hey, table. Hey, Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the vax. Ugh. Me also listening to others' conversations in the local restaurant. He has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> he's not taller than the... He's not taller than the Traveler, is he? What? Oh. What? <laughs> Harry. Master. Did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. You need not change who you are. Aww. Aww. How adorable. feels almost as hot as those studio lights I'm in front of all the time. Good thing there can only be one sun. Thing. You Throw must it. be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? <laughs> the very important client. Here, I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. I've been to Over several here. countries. Yeah, of course I have. Over here. Uh huh? What? Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Shenyun saying like "yoo-hoo." <laughs> the most anti thing she could do. I take it that all is going well. Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanghe appear foolish in front of my family. <laughs> she truly knows how to look out for others. Ah, uh, yeah. I still have a lot to learn. That's why. As for the next step... Oh, no. What's wrong, Gamin? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's Business like, related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. 
We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Can we hear the plan? Got it. Just leave it to us. Oh my god. Let's split up and make it happen. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite. Mechanical thingamabobs. <laughs> Sure, man. Hello again. Oh. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you. My daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Let's go. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Hey, we need one of those machine thingies. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, nope. it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. All right, then. Thank you. Oh, you twisted her arm so hard she just acquiesced immediately. <clears throat> oh no, it's night time. Looks like we finished everything we needed to do. Let's find a good place and put this thing into the sky. <laughs> oh no, it's a cutscene. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those two having a friendship is the cutest fucking thing to me. Oh my god. Shun ho! Sorry. Her outfit still looks the best. Although Ganyu's outfit is really fucking spectacular. Come here. Allow me. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is where they turn off all the lights and you just oh, see the lanterns? Oh, no! Everything's falling apart, actually! Oh, should we get the mill lit? No, I'm sure it's fine. Surely nothing's breaking. Oh, fuck! We get to see fucking Gaming dance? Oh, let's go! <laughs> So well, this is a new thing for them. Is he just standing up? Am I allowed to do that? How was he standing on water? Bruh.
He's Jesus. He's probably got some help from uh, Jin Yun. Bruh, should you be kicking those lanterns around like that? Is that allowed? <laughs> Charlie taking taken that many pictures already? <laughs> it's full. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Don't worry, you have a literal Adeptus with the wind on your side. You're good. <laughs> Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> Happy Lantern Right. Oh, damn it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm fine. It's fine. Coming's performance was so cool, Paimon almost wanted to join in. You saw that, right, Traveler? Let's go find him. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every goddamn <laughs> every goddamn light lantern ride has hit me in the feels. I don't know if it's like the event or just like what the fuck, but like every single one, I'm just like, ah, damn you. <laughs> good music and shit. This is what I mean. Genshin hits good moments sometimes. They just fucking fully flop on other ones. Their cutscenes and their story progression is doing really well right now. Like, man. <laughs> you know, uh, but... God damn it! Anyway. <sighs> what a good cutscene. That was really good. Also, thank you for redeeming <laughs> the maid again. Yeah, do you me ask it? If that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? I'm good. No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. She's good. She's she's set. I'm sure she'll be fine. Hang on. Before we start this probably a heart wrenching experience, Jesus with the stretch, hydrate, and posture deck. I shall do all three. Thank you very much. All right, enjoy. Hmm. Oh, it's good fine. silence. Oh no. I suppose I'll go first this time. Ooh, okay. progress. Progress. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? Bruh, what the Absolutely. fuck do you think? Absolutely, I... I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. 
What I mean to say is, of course, it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision... Oh my god. If that's your dream... Ikuru is a father. Then it doesn't matter how Let's difficult go. it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. Much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. Oh. <laughs> You're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> My God, say me, it. Gaming, you've always been a great kid. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yes. The two of them Happy the ending. <laughs> really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Ah, it was all because of you. Give yourself a pat on the back. It now wasn't. Go. We didn't do anything, actually. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Dad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. I hate you. <laughs> uh, really? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Is there anything else you'd like to... Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. Oh, good. If everyone It'd be time, that bad to track him down. Maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Oh my god. Cool. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> you bastards. Damn. I'm going to finally actually go here and get these rewards. I'm going to do this last part. Add Astra. Claim rewards. Oh, add Astra Abyssos. Also, the best thing Genshin's ever added. Claim all button. Dispatch again. Close the menu. Oh, so nice. Having to manually do each individual one was horrible. Glad I don't have to do that. Two days later, 12 to 6. Or 12 to 4, I guess. Oh, actually, oh, well, it'll be nighttime when I get, I'm going to be grabbing seconds in a sec here. I just want to show off one quick thing and then I'll, I'll be right back. Because that food was so tasty. If I go upstairs and they've like thrown it out, I'm going to be so sad. But apparently, so if you remember, Gaming has that idol pose where he does like all these like crazy... Like, he pulls out the big, like, lion head and starts dancing around and stuff. Um, turns out... 
Ready to rumble. He has like a different coloration when it's at night. I don't know if it's only with his alt or if it's specifically that pose. It might it might be with his alt. You might have to do his alt, which at which point I'll have to get his alt. But make them cook more. I <laughs> if they got rid of it. All right, let's see. It might just be his alt. But, I'm, but it is at night either way. We'll f we'll find out in a sec. I just realized Shenhe and Ganyu are standing right there in their outfits. Come on. Do an idol pose. That would be nice. <laughs> Wrong one. Do the other one. Whether it takes me uphill, downhill, or out to the sticks, I get the goods from A to B. I'll even take them across the sea if needed. So don't worry, you're in safe hands. They don't call me the gold standard guard for nothing. Such a... Okay. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. <sighs> right? He's got, like, the orange LEDs and stuff like that. Supposedly with his other alt. <laughs> Sorry, oh. pal. Supposedly, with his alt, he'll have a different coloration where it's like blue. All right, but I gotta gotta get his alt, which means that's gonna be. But it's fine. I'll worry about it. In a... Except he did not what I wanted, so unfortunate. Been at a loose end lately, so what? How so? I want to leave it on this pose again because I think it's pretty. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm grabbing seconds of my uh, food that I just had, which was um, uh, fried potatoes, uh, uh, scrambled eggs, uh, steak bites, and hollandaise sauce. So hopefully there's seconds. I will go find that out. If not, I'm going to be a little depressed, a little sad, but is okay. Um, anyway, so chill here. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. So, partially bad news. They got rid of the hollandaise sauce because they thought I wasn't going to have it anymore because they didn't know if I liked it or not. So, <laughs> there is seconds, but I don't have the hollandaise sauce. So sad. But, it's cool. <laughs> Let's go. Or... All right. Oh, Paimon almost forgot! Didn't Zhang Li say Hu Tao was also planning on spending some time in Chaoying Village? We didn't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? No, Maybe we're four star. The hell? Huh. For a four star. Oh, it's so cool. Look at his little guy. Time to prod in the her. All right. <laughs> Guys. I don't get it. Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. So I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiong Ling told me it was inappropriate. But inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people? <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, another village. <laughs> Eating through this as fast as I can, so we can play the other game. <laughs> Used to hear it. I think about Buell fruit and good vibes. Right? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. Hmm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Okay, go see what's up. You and Paimon make your way to the top of the mountain in search for the source of the shouting. As far as you can make it out, it's almonds this and cocoa, uh, cocoa paste this. Cacao? <laughs> Sounds delicious, that's for sure. The lively voice invigorates your steps and you ascend the mountain in no time. The Mau Mau, the little Mau. Sounds familiar, it's probably... <gasps> What are they doing here? <laughs> Hold the fucking phone. What do you mean? <laughs> Why are they here? Nokia, hey guys. Why? Ah, well, if it isn't my dear partners. Oh hey. By the way, fun fact, chat. Uh, if the rumors are be to be believed, uh, Clorin's only a four star. But people said that a lot of people were stars, and they're not. I'm gotta think that Clorin's gonna be a five star. Ultimate PvP duelist? There's no way she's not. See, I 
told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. Avi is an astrology girly? Of course she is. Of course she is. It's just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Ride. I know I shouldn't mention it. Look, but Clarin's button is really holding on for dear life. It's like the, the scene from Spider-Man 1. Happy Lantern Ride. Happy Lantern Ride to you Lantern too! Lantern Ride. We're on vacation. Yeah, they are. Uh, wait, if you're here for Lantern Ride, then what are you doing on top of this deserted mountain? <laughs> you guys get lost. And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? That was Navia? <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. I don't know that it sounded like Navi. Music's gone again. That or your voice is just really loud. <laughs> well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps. But the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. Huh. Huh. That's a really nice view. That's a really nice view. Damn. <clears throat> I see. So it's not that you were shouting, it's not that what you were shouting that matters, but the act of shouting. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here and they said it was fine. Apparently most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. So, you see, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, speak for yourself. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Oh. oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Hmm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Huh? <laughs> um... <laughs> Anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Oh no. <laughs> as long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. <laughs> <laughs> and I prefer to keep things bottled up. Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. Traveler, we're going to have to have a discussion about... <clears throat> letting your uh, your inner feelings go for a little bit. Just, you know, saying it to someone. <laughs> no need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Wait, what? Farina's here? Where? Huh? Did My wife? Did Paimon hear that right? My wife? Farina's also here? In Chiang Village? Where? <laughs> Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Great, right. Where? My wife. Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes, we could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried <laughs> up here to check it out. Wait, why the fuck wouldn't you start with that? That person's probably still in trouble. What? <laughs> the fuck? And what do you know? Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. My wife. Lyra, hey, how you doing? Are you here for Clarin's button as well? Ah, that reminds me. 
I believe what she actually said was, so help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I'm not as strong as the button, but I am here. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Alira. I hope you're doing well. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Hey, was she alone? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalette on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so... They probably weren't together. I forget how close this, like, this is to Fontaine. So it makes sense that they would come here to kind of, like, vibe. What? Nicolette was here too? So many people from Fontaine. What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. He came to try out the waters in the Genue Vale. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Could you imagine being so busy that your your entire vacation, your big like oof, break for the week, it was a 12-hour vacation? <laughs> anyway. Nevillette is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. The dragon, so... Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Oh, you, you are not very good at lying, Missy. Just say you were here for tea. It's fine. Nobody's going to... Who's here that's going to judge you for that? Really. Honestly. Where's my Clorin summon? Why do I have to wait for so long? You Fontanians and your tea drinking. Oh, it's not for me. I lost a bet with Rithesley, and now I have to buy him something. <laughs> Why do you ever make bets? It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. <laughs> Rithesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. Oh. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Ah, uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. Sunglow tea? Buy ten boxes? Get half off? Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? Please, do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? No, you look like somebody who would kill me by saying a certain T wrong. I mean, right? In game. Ah, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. I mean, we didn't. We honestly just showed up for the funsies and then heard your voice, but also you mentioned Farina, so now I kind of want to go find her. Anyways, continue. Apparently, we've had plans, actually. A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village, so we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Oh, dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. No harm done, partner. <laughs> That's good. Sorry. Got lost in the veil. We should probably head out and look for Hutao. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're going to stay around for a little longer. Both of these fine Fontanian ladies have thigh squish. Am you Fontaine? Mm. Go and meet your hey. friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Hey, sounds reasonable to me. Sounds good. We're going to head down the mountain then. Just standing here. An RGB, baby. Done. Hey, 
Anyway. What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Name your price. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. <sighs> I will pass. I prefer to let actions speak louder than words. You willing to cause a rock slide then? Anyway. Eep. Oh my god, Farina's talking to fucking Zhongli and Hu Tao. Chinese village is known for its tea, but you know what else they have with tea? My yes, wife! Right, Didn't Gaming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Afternoon tea might be more appropriate. Point. Oh, well that's fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Let's go. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh, Paimon's not seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Uh, I don't want Paimon interacting with Farina, like, but, um, <clears throat> judging based on the hat, I so. Wonder what they're talking about. Oh, tea? Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chow Ying Village. Look at the pupper behind me. Oh my god, look at the pupper behind me. Oh, anyway. or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Here, want to make a bet? Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Maripede. Worth the shot. Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say, loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Okay. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. Mm. It's decided that Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Hmm. And I'll vote for Hustler Hu Tao. All right, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. <laughs> Good afternoon, Hu Tao, Zhang Li, and Farina. <laughs> Farina's like, oh God, no. Too. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? It's kind of seems like our luck just keeps on growing. That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the traveler in Paimon then. I have keenly felt the passage of time since our last meeting. Looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhang Li. Ahem. I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, traveler. Hey, my wife. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well traveled and well connected. Yeah. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, Allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern right. I'm several days late, but yes, happy lantern right. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. Oh, yeah. Just a little. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Uh, <laughs> that's quite high praise. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhongli than meets the eye. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. She doesn't know? <laughs> Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Oh no. Baby, baby no, don't ask those questions. Just let him assume that he doesn't know and just move on. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? He's respecting shit, yeah? No, 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 no. Ay, yeah. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you.
you talk about yourself that way? Huh? Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but... Uh, um, Miss Hu Tao... Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Oh. Did you hear that, Paimon? She's Hu Tao's esteemed client. Okay, okay, you win. Nope. Oh. Guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. I knew you were holding out on me. Uh-huh. What's this about winning something? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. <laughs> I'm on's idea. Uh, nah <laughs> the point. Oh, we just saw you guys standing on the side of the road and couldn't help but take guesses as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Oh, well, you know me. That I do, my friend. I know you. Oh, damn, do I know. Stinky Paimon feed. <laughs> like where this is going. I kept found a new couple of words to ban. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Ah, by newbie, you mean me, right? Don't say it so aggressively. If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhongli was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Ha! You see? Paimon was right, too! Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. Fine. Keep your secret stash, then. Back on NGS 23 minutes ago? Oh my god! Wait, it's back on Xbox! Summoning stream, perhaps? Also, hey, Fia, how you doing? I'm pretty sure Fia's been here the whole time, just, like, lurking. How about this? You buy Pime on a bull, and Pime on will also buy you a bull. Or, I'll just buy both bulls because you're broke. Uh, as for the third bull... Marina, you busy? Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. <laughs> I'll buy you a bull anytime you want. <laughs> I was just joking anyway i should be the one treating you the funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all i i don't like that that's your place of business that you eagerly promote the funeral parlor i don't think getting guests to pre-order coffins is the best business strategy but it seems to be working recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. What do you mean? Getting them to pre-order them is just a business strategy. You can't buy a coffin when you're dead. Exactly. Being a mortician doesn't sound so... Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying she has too much excitement for getting people to buy a coffin. Huh? But Paimon just thought since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare <laughs> they didn't answer. for my film. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Li Wei. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. <laughs> Ah, my heart. Anyway, continue. Definitely not, 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 not. Did you make two fucking accounts? I didn't notice that one of them was not, not. 
Fucking delete those accounts. <laughs> Twitch is going to get mad at me for botting. Well, thank you for the hydrate, Kira, and the boss check as well. But Jesus with the stretch. No, it's actually a problem. Get rid of them. <laughs> I don't think Twitch will care, honestly. Small shit. Bill. No. Uh, anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> Technically, no, you're not. It's not the point. What, what my wife said. What my wife said. That's not the point. Mod them too? I will not. <laughs> Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage. I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. Might even call it a breath of fresh terror. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. He's you something better. Oh, Paimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Longsheng Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Zhang Li sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Who? Oh? oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? It was it was Nouvellet, wasn't it? What? How did you guess that on your first try? <laughs> Sorry. Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. Master Master Detective Miko over here. You tell everyone about your encounter with Navia and Clorinda at the top of the mountain. One look at that pitiful expression on Freeman's face is enough to convince you to leave that part out about the shouting. Huh. Oh. I never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. Did he I'm get lost? Sure or? he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. Putting yourself down? He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. So when are we getting this forbidden game? This is the last uh, part of the chapter, so we're going to be going to it after this. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. Well, hang on, it's six hours. Hmm. Not sure how many people are still going to be up for this forbidden game. And I want a lot of people to witness it. I don't know how many people are here. Available. So should I do it tomorrow instead? Friday night, everybody's really around. I might do it tomorrow just because that way more people should be available to see it. And I do want a lot... Everybody contributed to this thing, so I want people to see it, obviously. Okay, <laughs> Chuck is scary. Please don't say it live on Twitch. <laughs> Just if I say it, they'll be like, oh, oh, but you put it in text. God damn it. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, I was just thinking, well, you guys, you guys let me know. I'll, we'll get through the story and then we'll, we'll figure it out at the end of it. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. Him though, swimming through would probably be the best fastest route for were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hutao? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So mm. naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. Mm. To the spirit realm. But speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? No. Also, this is probably the first time I'm really tooking at... you. <laughs> I'm really not tooking. Taking a look at... Utao's like bottom of her like little coattails. They've got little metal like squares on them. I think that's a really cool. I really like Utao's design. I don't like her character, like her kit. I don't like, but her design's super dope. Ah, uh, no wonder he was stiff as a board and way 
way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. Oh, I don't think he would have guessed he's here on vacation. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Indeed. Oh, this gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. Jean Lee and Nouvellet would get along so well. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Is that so? Wait, you didn't see him, Jean Lee? Unfortunately, no. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. Hey. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. I will say, the community, as soon as Nouvellet and Farina dropped, the community pretty much, like, tied Nouvellet and Zhongli together and Hu Tao and Farina. Kind of like, like, they would have, like, a really cute, like, night, like, outing, essentially. They would, like, relax with each other kind of thing. Um, and it's funny to think that, like, that kind of came true. <laughs> Is that so? I think by how Zhongli is acting, and taking into consideration Nouvellet's true identity, but Zhongli could have been avoiding him on purpose. Hmm. Oh, I see. Ah. Truly a pity. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, Zhongli not... Not getting too close because Nouvellet's a dragon. Probably, probably well, good with the reasoning. Around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. <laughs> I have, I do have a certain charm about me. I'm good with people. Well, that's certainly I'm not. true. I'm <laughs> very bad with people, actually. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance. You should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. You make a good point, Kira. <laughs> Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> God. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. He's the fair and impartial Judex of Fontaine. Head of the highest court in the land. Otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork. And <laughs> I've never heard of a demon that boring before. <laughs> <laughs> in my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. As a human, probably. If I remember They're walking up! He's already several thousands of years old. You. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Hutao. Is that a chest I haven't opened? Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh? Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Well, so they do. Somebody let Lyra know. Clorin's back in the picture. There's so many fucking dope people in one room. If I go to bed right now, I'll get exactly six hours <gasps> and nine minutes of sleep. But do I want to go to sleep for my physical health? Or do I want to stay awake and do things to make me happy? I know which one I would do. Mainly because I slept most of the day anyways. In between doing annoying things. Over here. And we're wondering if we could join in. 
Um, please, excuse the interruption. I love the thought, and I don't think this is true, but I love the thought that Clorend is, like, super awkward around people. So she, like, she's not silent and stoic because she's, like, mean about any of it. She's just unbelievably, like, introverted. I love that thought. I don't know why I love that thought so much, but the popper's here, too! Let's go! No! Yeah, we're good. Popper is going to walk into the water. Bye, Popper. <laughs> so that dog looks like it's named Charlie. I don't know why. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the traveler in Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around you and you begins and begins to introduce themselves. Who tows who tows light up? Who tows eyes light up when she hears about Clorin's profession? But a quick explanation from Farina and Navia seems to dispel most of her more misguided ideas. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm, it's getting late. Oh, so pretty. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. You guys can't teleport? Indeed. I'm concerned about what that means for me. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? Uh huh. When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. <laughs> also, to answer the question, no. Can't pet the pupper, sadly. Genshin doesn't have that in here. I don't think. You can get close to them. You can, like, refer to them, but you can't pet them. There's no pet op. Which is sad. You're out of 10. I mean, it's Genshin, so already it's like a negative two. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together oh. if they run into each other on the road. This is true. This is true. This is very true. It's very true. Marina, you have friends. My wife is making friends. There are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. <laughs> Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside oh. them an old Good house please. is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers <laughs> to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Demoiselle, stop, uh, ladies, no, uh, I mean friends, please take me with you. <laughs> I love her. I love every second of her. She's amazing. My wife is the cutest fucking bean on the planet. I love her so much. <laughs> of course. Farina? <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Besides... <laughs> Being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. Oh, this could be interesting. Could Farina, could the rest of the story be leading up to Farina reinstating and being like back at like the leading point of Fontaine? Her last name is Farina de Fontaine, right? I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. But also, I would never, I would never, at all, this, exactly this. Let her enjoy things, please. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Well, you all had a good time. Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Dim sum. 
Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious. Paimon knows you'll love them. That may be the only good thing that... That may be the, the nicest thing that Paimon said to Farina. And I'm not joking. This may, this sentence alone, this these two sentences may literally be the nicest thing that fucking Paimon's ever said to Farina. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. I don't know why Paimon's such a mean bitch to Farina. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? Hey, you're not bringing home any souvenirs? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Ooh, what's the mythical beast? Corand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Siegeween. Siegeween! Yes! The best doctor. Corand isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Ooh. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. <laughs> what about you, Farina? Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. They should all be things I can use, I think. Ah, uh, so you fell for the few marketing tricks. <laughs> uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Packets? Oh, <laughs> actually, Monsieur Neuvelet took them with him. Uh oh. <laughs> Treasure, is he? I'm on that's that's rude and insensitive. How dare you? <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervelet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. I felt a bit bad at first, but uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Maripede for me, once he's done with the day's work. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something... I'm concerned about this man being stuck underneath several bags of gifts on the road. We should probably go find him. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? <laughs> wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Right, Zhongli? <laughs> Indeed. Karan said Nervale offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. Okay. So if we go to the entrance of the Fortress of Maripede, maybe we'll run into Nervalet. We're really going to Fontaine? But we don't know exactly when he'll show up. Huh. Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? And, indeed. Um, I love when voice actors, as their character, impersonate another voice actor as their character. It's the best thing. I love it. It's so tiny, but it, I love it every time. If you ask me... I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. You're getting to be around that age after all. <laughs> Did you just... Is that so? Loud. <laughs> <laughs> I jest. 
given its distance from the city, Xiaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Yeah, voice acting inside more voice acting. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, oh, um, I see. What do you think, Traveler? Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood too? Different worlds should not collide. Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, goodbye, Zhongli. I, I'm sorry. This. Oh, I might. All right. So, what I mean is, like, Fontaine's, like, right here. Where Fontaine is. Like, Rina lives. Um. So, her going to Liyue and just getting this far is makes sense. You'd have to pass through here in order to get to fun. But obviously they couldn't make it all the way to the harbor. Chill here. All right, to the Fortress of Maripede. To the Opera Ecclesi. Yep. Which stores... That's right, you guessed it. Your Tris Mechanis Danilis Cardinal. <laughs> no longer works. Also, we're back in Fontaine, so the music is on. All the fancy agos. I really honestly can't wait for more content. I really do enjoy playing. I feel like that's like the strength of Genshin. One of the strongest points of Genshin anyways. I feel like one of the weakest parts is the grinding and all of the other kind of lack of content, if that makes sense. Like end games. Anything that really challenges the player or anything like that. The gotcha system obviously being super not great. Storylines are always so good. So, so good. Hey, Nivellette. Come, buddy. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. I forgot that he doesn't sound like Zhongli. Anyway. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. Oh, I'm sorry, Paimon's here. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nevelette? <laughs> yeah. Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chaoying Village for half a day? Huh. So much that... Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. Second... I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chaoying Village. I was there, so... I see. Thank you for informing me. <laughs> so did you deliver the gifts? Yes, they have been safely delivered. Let's go. <laughs> I have to hand it to Clorant. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. 
Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh? Why? What happened? <laughs> no way. It was buy ten boxes, get half off. <laughs> no fucking shot. But, <laughs> yo, I don't know who that tea merchant is, but he made off like a fucking king. He got... <laughs> He got so many people to buy 10 boxes of tea. Ah, that explains it then. Ah. That. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. <laughs> I'll give it to the prisoners and they'll hate the tea. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is a stone slate engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh... okay. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. We joked with Cloran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. Ah. So that's what this is about. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. Oh, what? It <laughs> is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. <laughs> I'm still sad I don't actually have Risley. I just didn't summon for him because I was saving up for, like, Farina was right after him. But I didn't get the opportunity. And on a funny whim, I decided to just YOLO summon a multi before him, which was Nouvellet. And I got Nouvellet, and then I couldn't summon for uh, Risley. So that was an experience. Well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. <laughs> What's the matter, Nouvellet? Not really feeling up to it anymore. Also, yeah, sad, sad moments. He's coming back, though. Um, I think he's got a rerun in a couple updates. So, I'll maybe get him then. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sejuin has collected. That sounds good to me. <laughs> so that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. They say in Liyue, balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles at bay. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. Let's go. justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. I should... This line should be posted on every streamer's wall. 
<laughs> you don't have to justify a vacation. You can just take. Okay. In today's day and age of how busy everybody is, you can just take a vacation. And a lot of people who don't think that they can definitely need one. After all, you're hardly bereft of time. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Jesus, with the posture check, stretch and hydrate, I shall do all three. Thank you very much. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. Nice, how was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. <laughs> oh no! Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but add the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now I have participated in their very making. This is also something I made today. Oh, is that a soup ladle? Did you make a cool soup ladle that looks like you in dragon form? Ah, oh, that's a big ladle. That's a ladle? I meant that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. I think it's supposed to be him. I'm on. That was indeed one of my inspirations. Oh, it also really matches your. Really, you like it? Oh, oh, he sounds. He's like, do you truly? Oh, oh no. Yeah, I like it. I think it's cute. To tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. I deserve welcome? Around such an important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. <laughs> if you'll have it, that is. By hand and everything. Can I really keep this? That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. Then I accept. Thank you, Neverlet. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Oh, oh, that reminds me. You pass along the advice for Nuvalet's vacation. Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. Yes, for the love of God, take a longer vacation than half a day. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence, something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. But you need to take them. But I suppose I understand her point. Thank you. Listen to my wife. She knows what she's talking about. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. Oh, I could have told you that. Aw. Aw, we got the sea beast! Let's go! Is that the mission? Is that we're done now? All over? It's all over! I did it all! Let's go! It only took <clears throat> seven hours! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, well that's fine. Alright, Nuvalet, what else you got? The lantern right marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then, I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's... Oh, God, I was playing it. Where is it? Oh, they are Itaki. Please. Let's go. Why do we get a feeling it's massive? <laughs> also, we have the new uh, the Lantern Rite stuff. A soup ladle gifted to you by Nuvalet during the Lantern Rite. Creation by his own hand was a product of spontaneous decision during his spontaneous outing, and thus holds exceptional meaning. However, perhaps because the Juex was on vacation at the time, this fantastical sea creature inspired soup ladle gives off a sense of leisure. If this ladle is used to taste various waters, you might perhaps gain insights you would not Did we win the fucking... I don't know if we won it. 
I can put down a sword. Why have I not made Dark Souls references? How dare I? Tea parties are a must for the well mannered. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer to a just hadn't screen. Guys, YouTube, this is where the video is gonna end for you. I'm gonna go in and make a highlight. We're gonna cut off one part, cut off another part. But you're not going to see the beginning of this VOD where things went horribly wrong. And you're not going to see the end of this VOD where we go and do a couple of other things on another game. So, thanks so much for watching, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope the Genshin Lantern Rite was enjoyable. And I hope you didn't mind watching me cry at something in Genshin yet again. Um, they're really nailing it with a lot of the stuff in Genshin and I'm having a good time, so... Uh, other than that, YouTube, stick tuned, stay tuned for another video, uh, on Saturday. You guys are going to get another one because I'm streaming tomorrow. It's going to be a weird one. There will be some content warnings at the beginning of it and some just stuff that's in it. Don't worry about that. Be fine. All right. Bye, YouTube.